Hey, hey, fam. Welcome to the Big Drop Show. Yo, 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 lovely people Yee-hoo. of the internet. What is going on? What is going on? Always a weird thing to say, hey? <laughs> They can't answer. They can answer. They can comments. answer comments. Yeah. Yeah. Share. Yeah. Share comment. Tell us how stupid we sound. Yes. <laughs> and as always, this episode of the podcast of the Big Drop Show is brought to you by the Hit Lab Recording Studio in Johannesburg, South Africa. The Hit Lab is a recording studio that focuses on original and commercial music. It is a lovely space to be in. It's situated in a great little. I don't know. What would you call this nook? In a great little nook. It's creative. It's tucked away from the world. So if you want to be creative, go and visit www.thehitlab.co.za yeah. for more information. Yeah, we love it here. And we're very proud to announce that this show is also proudly sponsored by you. Ha! The you listener. caught me by surprise with that one, Rick. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I think it's um, important so that we say thank you for everyone listening um, and that we also encourage you to go and subscribe on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you happen to listen to it on a platform where there is a rating system like Apple Podcasts, please give us a good rating there if you enjoy the show and if you find it useful. It really helps with ratings and those sort of things. Yeah. Yeah, man. Give us your comments. Give us your words. Yeah. Be nice. Yeah. Please. We also have a, a forum on the website where people can go and um, start conversations there. So in the long run, we hope to build that up um, to something substantial where the conversation can be outside of the show as well, which I think I'm, I'm excited about. Yeah, man. And we're talking more and more about the, the Big Drop show going live. And it's... That time is approaching us day by day by day. We're working very hard to make that happen. Yeah, and, and, and live, both audio visual. So we, we're looking to film it. We're looking to bring very interesting, unique concepts. I think that doesn't really exist in the space yet. We, we're trying to sort of merge things together in, a, in an interesting way that I think is going to be great. Yeah, I look forward to that, man. The yeah, pressure's same. on. The pressure's always on with live. Yeah. But it makes it, exci- it, makes it exciting, I think. It does, yeah. We've got a bunch of interesting conversations booked that's coming up as well. Um, I think the show being out, people sort of being able to see what it's about. We've got a lot of interest um, from very interesting people. So I'm super excited about the conversations coming up as well. Yeah, and thank you guys for the mails that you have sent through. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, We really appreciate it and... um it helps us. It helps us keep the show fl- afloat, and it helps us keep it. It helps us keep the content interesting. Interesting because you guys have been sharing with us who you want to see yeah. or hear, yeah. and who you want us to chat to, and that is, that is always great. It helps us earmark guests for the future. Yeah, and if you don't know how to get in touch with us, um, you can head over to our website, thebigdropshow.com. The Big Drop Show. The Big Drop Show. The big I don't know what happened com. there. Sorry, and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're on all the socials as well. You can also, I think the easiest to go to the website and all the links are on there. But anywhere you search for the Big Drop Show, the you, big will, drop show. you will find it. Yeah. I think we've got to make a Big Drop Show British, British edition. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I can keep a British accent consistently to, to be part of this conversation anymore. Nah, dude, I got a South African passport, so I'm taking my accent with me. Yeah. <laughs> um, speaking of, actually, yes. that is something we should do. We should get on a plane. Both of us love flying. And we should do an American edition with a couple of episodes with some we interesting guests from should. that side of the world, a British yeah. edition, a European edition. It all sounds like a fantasy right now, but we are no, going to make that fantasy no, it's happen. Happening. It's happening. And uh, we got things in the pipeline. We're chatting to some really, really cool and interesting folk. But for now, yeah. we have on this show, Mr. Kyle White. Today, yeah. What a, what a cool... I mean, I've known Kyle for about roughly about five years five and a half years and i followed his work he's an incredible music video maker yeah um he's a humble man with a vision yeah what i liked with i like his confidence like he's got yes. a little bit of that kindness man where he it's does like, but yet he's still on the ground yeah, yeah very he's yeah that's it's a hint a healthy hint of the kanye you the, know the kanye effect yeah it's like he's he's just like you know what if you book me you book me for my vibe if you don't like it work with someone else. Like, you got to know who you are in yeah, this realm and in yeah. this world and he knows exactly who he is and what he can deliver. Yeah. And he does deliver. Yeah. If you if you um 
if you have not seen his work, go check it out, man. www.kalwhite.tv. Yeah. His music videos are great. He's an yeah. A-list video maker in yeah, South Africa and with, Africa. Yeah, and he works with, I mean, he works with the biggest artists in Africa um, and makes just great, great, great product. And it was good chatting to him about sort of his creative process, all the different things that he's into and, and you know, I think often with, with people making nice things, it's it's great to just sort of peek into their mind and see their approach and, and their sort of philosophies on things and, and approach to things, yeah. Yeah, man, we had quite a cool ending to the show. It had to get cut a little bit short because of something pretty funny that happened. We were talking about a situation and while we were talking about it, it actually happened live uh, yeah. on the show. Yeah, so we had, we had to cut a part of the conversation because it was some sensitive information and then we come back hysterically laughing because it's just so ridiculous. So, so listen to the end. Um, I think it's a great, you know, there's often so much um, fantasy around creative work, you know, in terms of, and I think this conversation really sort of exposed a lot of the, the not so nice bits, um, that it's not always perfect. It's not always amazing to make music or make videos or whatever. There's also a lot of bullshit involved there. And, and um, this conversation, I think, was nice. It wasn't selling a fantasy in that way. It was very real. And you know, Talking about the real aspects yeah, of working in the entertainment the business. The struggles everything from and the, audio yeah. and visual. Yeah, absolutely. Well, without further ado, we bring you The Big Drop Show with... Carl White. Carl White TV, what is happening, bro? Or just Carl. Or just Carl. <laughs> I, you know, dude, your brand is so cool. I, I was, dig it. Yeah, Thank I was you. also just gonna say it's like it's it's. I don't think there's a lot of music video guys that that does what you do and the way you do it, and it's it's very impressive from a from an outside perspective. You know. Thank you so much, yeah. bro. You know what? I've spent a lot of time uh, on my brand and and creating a a vibe around who I am as a person. Yeah. As a so when you're shooting with me, you're not just shooting with a company, you're shooting yeah. with me. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so the fact that you guys can can see that and, and appreciate that means yeah. that I've done something. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Right, I guess. No, completely, dude. I mean, it's, it's really cool, man, how your YouTube page works with your website and the look and the feel. Thanks, my bro. And then, banging, do you dude. know what I spend a lot of time on is Instagram as well. Mm. I love that platform. I think uh, if you're in, in this sort of field in, in music or acting or whatever it is, that for me is the best place to really show off your brand. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's also, you know, I do... I do I do quite a few like uh, boosted posts as well. So let's say, for example, as an example, uh, I just got back from London and my whole intention was to shoot some music videos there. So I, I ran an advert. It was like a 20 second video. It's still on my Instagram page. Um, just very uh, short and to the point, 20 seconds, um, uh, showreel uh, of my work. And then it just said, in the UK in June. And in the description, it said, you know, book your slot now. Sure. And I promoted that ad. So I put, I think I put like 200 bucks behind it for one day and I got six bookings. Wow. Boom. Boom. The madness, it's so worth though. it now, dude. That is, mm. but that is, that's that's this era, this generation. Yeah, this you, is what we do, you, you know? You got to get with it. Mm. And then, you know, I see a lot of people that they understand the importance of things like Instagram, but they're not using it correctly. So uh, one thing that stands out to me, um, uh, I'm not going to name any names here, but I'll look at someone's Instagram page who is an artist or a music video director, <laughs> whatever it may be. Bless you. Um, <laughs> and... and you know, how they're failing the platform is they're not posting the correct content or they're not, yeah. like, for example, um, you can't post pictures of yourself if you are a singer or a, a, like a band, a musician, whatever. You can't be posting pictures of yourself that are taken with a crap phone. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> or, sure, sure. You know, if you're on an iPhone, take it on your iPhone, but go to, uh, what's it called? Um... Uh, not normal photo mode. It's called uh, uh, portrait mode portrait or whatever. Mode. Yeah, there there's go. all these tools. Yeah, yeah sure. There, I there's get so many I'm tools you, that yeah. are there for us. And it's and, right there in, in your hand, in yeah, everyone's hand. Exactly. Dude. Well, yeah. and, and learning the basics like uh, lighting, for example, yeah. makes such a big difference. And you yeah. can take a... a not great camera, but if the lighting's great, you can still make a decent photo, you know? Absolutely. Um, right. You might not be able to put it on a billboard, but but Dude, it'll be I'm, good enough for Instagram. And, and there's, there's things that right. you can educate yourself with with regards to lighting, like... Um, or just like, dude, when you take a, a, a photograph 
and you want to post it to social media, look at it and, and ask yourself, does this look like a, does this look, is this showing me in the best light? Yeah, <laughs> but sure. some people, you know, there's some people have that, uh, what is the, what is the, uh, we were talking about it the other day. That term, there's a term for this thing where people struggle to actually see themselves oh, no, no, in yeah, reverse. It's, it's, and it's, it's, there's, I don't know if you know what the Dunning-Kruger effect is. No. <laughs> so the Dunning-Kruger effect is this thing where... It's I'm an probably, actual thing. Yeah, I'm going to probably okay. butcher uh, this as well. I always struggle to, <laughs> to translate this to people. But it's this uh, idea that you don't know what you don't know. And the only way for you to know it is to know it. So, mm-hmm. so, so if someone's really stupid, the only way for them to know how stupid they are is to become smarter. Uh huh. Okay. At I mean, the level that they're at, they cannot know it. Uh huh. I so, got you. That so, makes sense. So, so it's it's uh, so yeah. So I mean, I it's the same if, thing you, if you look yeah. at some Instagram profiles, mm-hmm. I mean, you just got to scroll down, yeah. and and you just got that discover thing. Some of the great stuff pops, and you don't see any crappy stuff. But then mm. you go to some of those dark profiles. Mm. Yeah. Those ones that appear in that like message request area, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> and and you look at some of those photos, and it's some person with a kitten. And it's a selfie, but it's terrible. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, to yeah. them, they possibly think it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. and then and then the message that goes along with it is, <laughs> is literally it's beautiful. It's beautiful. There's, there's no yeah. high. It just goes, uh, "You produce my music," and then it's like, <laughs> "Okay, uh, you produce it by 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 beats." By beats. Do you get any of that stuff in the film realms, in the yeah. video realms? Like what you know, random like, weird DMs, all day, every day. Sure. What's the weirdest one you've had? <sighs> Jeez, dude. It's one of those you can just open guy, up right now and find uh, one. No, no, yeah, <laughs> I could do it right now. Um, sure, two nights ago, guy goes, I'm trying to remember now. Uh, he goes, do you shoot music videos? So I just responded, no. No. No, <laughs> that's not what I do. You know, if you know, if and then he responded, but I was just on your Instagram profile. Why are you asking me a rhetorical yes, question? You're yes. going to get a stupid answer with yeah, a stupid exactly. question. Yeah, sure. Exactly. Sure. Anyways, okay, guys. But talking <laughs> about look and feel, I was checking out your tutorial side of things on YouTube and your first video was the first one I watched because I kind of, I dig YouTube that way. Yeah. I feel like that's the way you you meant to sort of look at someone's channel is you start at the top and you see what they're all about and exactly. and I, so i looked at your first one the c- cinematic music video lighting and it's sh- the whole the production quality of the actual tutorial is next level it feels like i'm watching a music video yet getting educated uh, uh, what the fuck dude that's it's it's quite next level for me man yeah thanks it's bro. next level dude, dude I've, i got goosebumps because uh because it means a lot to me to hear that from you um because I did put a lot of time and effort into it. I'm just going to touch on Instagram one last time oh, with sure. regards to perfecting things, right? Yeah. On Instagram, I take it so seriously. I just posted a series of photos for my trip in, in, in the UK, but this time it's just showing a bit more of my personal side sure. and not just work, work, work. Yeah. And I just posted photos of my wife and my little girl. And I I, I posted these the series of 10 photographs onto Instagram I think I did it three times. I posted it, deleted it because I noticed an error in terms of my cropping in one of the images. The next time mm-hmm. I uploaded it, I noticed, um, I noticed um, bad color. I can't remember exactly, but I, I reposted it three times. So you're sure repairing p- yourself perfect. even post Exactly. Post, uh, listen, it was late at night, so <laughs> it should have been done beforehand, the quality control. But now getting to that tutorial video, for example, and, and the fact that you, you saw some production value in there, which I'm very appreciative of. Dude, my links, so my um, talking to camera, that took me, I did it four, about four different times. For sure. So I went in on the first night, I recorded my links. I came back, wasn't happy with it. Went back again, went back again, went back again until I got it right. Sure. Um, maybe it's a little bit of OCD, but also no, I, no. I don't want to post something that I'm not… Um, I think you're touching on something so important is that often we consume things that seem so effortless and simple. Mm-hmm. And then you don't realize the effort that went into making it that way. Exactly. That's, that's but I mean, the, that's what yeah. you want. You want it to seem effortless. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And that's but, the perfection in it. It's, 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 it's People often think that that when you when you… When you're doing something that's, you, you always have to be complicated and mm-hmm. you have to be like fancy and whatever. And it's like, mm-hmm. no, no, people like simple things, but simple doesn't mean basic or dumbed down. Mm-hmm. Often simple is the hardest thing to get right. Mm-hmm. Like it's, mm-hmm. it's so difficult. Like you, you. you can spend, I mean, we, we sometimes with music production, we'll, we'll sit 
for hours on end or days on end, sometimes tweaking a kick drum sound mm-hmm. only to scrap it and start again. And then mm-hmm. eventually when it's when you get it and, it, and, you, and you listen to it, you're like, yeah, that's so right. Mm. But it's like it's all this effort I, to get there. You know, then I look at the space that we're in right now and obviously the, the listeners can't listen to it, but <laughs> can't see what, what the environment we're in. And I just had a walkthrough of your studio and it's because you spend so much time on that kick drum, or whatever it is, to perfect it that you can work in such a lovely space. Absolutely. And have some For sure, have man. some time to do oh, something yeah. new like doing a podcast or yeah, whatever. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. And uh, you got your head screwed on properly, dude. Um, I, I respect that. I, big time. I really believe your, your, as a creative, your surroundings dictate your product. Um, but having said mm. that, that's me personally. I love to be in a place where it feels different to what I'm used to because that's what creativity mm. is. Creativity is not the norm. You've got to step outside of what the world knows and mm. create something. And to be quite honest, that's the way I feel right now. Like, okay. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know what's uh, outside of this little room. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 It feels kind of out of worldly. Like, you just kind like of separate yourself a little bit and, mm. and then something magical happens. But having said that, Rick, you're an advocate for, for working on the fly on a plane. With your laptop and creating yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, I think I'm an advocate for both of it. So, so for me, the thing is, is that if you're going to truly be creative, there can't be any limit. Mm. You also can't just want to work in nice spaces either. Mm-hmm. So that's that's also a limitation on it. So, so for me, being creative is is just really going with the flow as much mm-hmm. as I can. So, mm-hmm. whether it's in this nice space, that's great. Whether it's on a plane or in an airport or in my bed you know mm. at 3 a.m whatever the case is it's like really being creative is just going with whatever and just being open to I, I don't think so so maybe this is a good question is do you think do you think when you're making things it's always making it out of nothing or do you think or do you see view it as as just this amalgamation of like sort of all your past influences and mm. uh, I think both do you think it's possible to make something out of nothing yes you think so? What do you mean? What like, do what do you mean? Can you give so, me more context? So, so, um, so when you make, when you come up with a creative idea, uh-huh. do you think it's possible for that idea to come from you and only you with no influence whatsoever? Influence as in, as in external, 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 experience. outside of like you. things so you've you, learned so you have and your seen. Con- and yeah, so you have your consciousness, right? Yeah. You have your experience. You go, I am yeah. this person. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is who I am. Yeah. And then. Um, there's the things that's not you, yeah. right? So you could you could look at it like this. So for example, maybe I I speak to someone, they tell me a story, and the story inspires me, and I go write a song about it. Mm-hmm. So that 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 didn't come from from nothing, if if you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So so there was an obvious inspiration. I don't think any, then let, let me say I don't think anything can come from nothing. Yes. Okay. So I agree yeah. with that. Okay. I don't. What's your? Yeah. I mean, we've had plenty chats about this. I do believe. Look, I'm. I I really think because you know, it comes down to free will, and and the, and the whole free will <laughs> debate at the moment is a heavy one. But but the reality is is you, yes, I think there is sort of a a reason for everything. But I think some things do come out on the fly that come out of you that may not be. Attached to anything that you've experienced I, I, so I, outside I think, of sure. I think I think you moment. can come up with something that's uniquely you that mm. no one else could have come up with mm-hmm. because no one has your experience. But I don't mm. think there's anything that you make up that's without influence. It has to be, yeah. So yeah. There, there's always that external thing. So yeah, so, yeah. So, so, I, I do agree. So with now that, my for point sure. is, the reason I brought yeah. this up was if we're looking at at creative spaces. For me, mm. often you can be in the nicest space and you can still fall in a creative rut there because mm. it gets familiar. Mm-hmm. Everything gets familiar. You can be mm. in the most creative space on the planet if you spend every day there for three years. It's gonna become stale. You got mm. the best. You know, you, if, if, with regards to that, as a, as a music video maker. You you got you got the best job of all, man. Because I mean, a lot of the times you get to sh- you shoot on location and stuff, mm-hmm. and that changes mm-hmm. everything for you. All mm-hmm. of a sudden, you have got a whole new canvas to work from. Yeah, yeah, and a whole set and of a new lot challenges. of times I've been thrown in, thrown in the deep end, like you can't believe. Like I, I'll give you guys some examples here. Okay, so uh, the first video I did for Casper and Your Vest was a couple of years ago. It was for a music video with Ricky Rick called Limpizza, and uh, he literally booked me the day before to come and shoot this video. He sent me a Rick Ross video reference, which was a black and white video, like kind of Rick Ross in the hood type of vibe, right? And he's like, well, we're going to go to Cape Town and we're going to go to the hood. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Um, flew out the next morning 
Oh, uh, that night I flew out, went to the same as hotel as him, saw him in the morning. Uh, he rocked up into, uh, like, I'm just waiting there in the van, no assistance, no one. And I'm shooting the two biggest artists of my career at that time. <laughs> yes. I'm like, okay. Yeah, no pressure. Let's uh, go. Dude, we rock up to this place and I had to make it up. As you went. Make yeah. it up, dude. On yeah. the fly. And this is a On huge video now. And that video has a shit ton of views. I, I'm sure I'm it's I'm sweating crazy. balls. Yeah. Because, <laughs> dude, you don't want to mess it up, bro. When these videos are getting millions of views... And you want to put your obviously you want to put your name on it. Of course, people of course. are going to see it. They're going to judge you. But if you. you fuck it up, and there's always an, an arsehole who has something clever to say, bro. But anyways, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> hey man, people spend they spend how much? What's the budget for the new Avengers movie? And there's some idiot going, ah, it was okay. But you, you know, yeah, yeah, and then you, you just mm -hmm. want to give them a clap. Yeah. But to be honest with you, and also, um, especially in South Africa, people will watch music videos and go, oh, that's shit or whatever. But, yeah. dude, do you know what's happening behind the scenes? Mm. Do you know what my budget is? Yeah. Do you know that my crew consists of only me because yeah. I don't have budget? Man yeah. alone. Do dude. you realize the artist came four hours late? Yeah. Nah, you don't know any of that shit. Yeah. I'm the only one dealing with it. Yeah. And when the video goes out, I'm the one who gets flack for it. Yeah. yeah. Do you know I, what I, mean? I have a comedian friend and he, David Kabuka, <laughs> he, he was, always used to tell me... Um, Comedy is the most brutal in this way because people don't care how long you've worked on a joke or they, they, they don't care. They don't care that you've rewritten the joke 10 times or that you've... No, it's all good, man. Sorry. I, Carl's I, taking a big I, puff on his, vape. on his vape and wondering if it's making a weird noise. Well, it did guy. make a weird noise in the mic and I thought it was oh, very man, cool. Sorry, mate. No, it's all good. Yeah, so, so he, he used to say to me that, you know, when you're sitting in a comedy club, the only thing you care about is whether the joke's funny or not. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's, 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 as creators, I think we get bogged down with this whole thing of, oh, but you don't know this and you don't know this. But, but at the end of the day, when the guy's sitting watching it, the only thing he's going to care about is whether it's good or and, not. And, and he should only care and about And he the should track. only, because we do the same as well. Is, that is yeah. your job. It that is your is job, job, yeah. yeah. And, and the cha I think the biggest challenge as, as a creative is that, is to, is to, to not get, like sometimes I, I hear a song and then someone will play it for me and they just, they have this long story of how long it's taken them to make it or whatever. And it's almost like they've convinced themselves that it's good because of the time they spent rather than mm. because it's good, mm. you know. And I think this is what, when you were saying earlier that, um, you know, you were redoing all those scenes for your video and you were, you know, that's the sort of, sort of commitment that 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 breaks that down because it's mm. like you go I don't care how long this is going to take me there's mm. there's right and wrong and it needs to be right and I'm going to mm. do it till it's till it sits you know mm -hmm. um, and it's the same thing with the Instagram thing like like if you look at content I believe you know it's 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 that's the difference is mm -hmm. is people going spending that time and and being able to distance yourself from the creation process and the actual product you know mm -hmm. I've, I've always said you can't make a painting when you're inside of it and it's that's the hardest thing for me I don't know what's if, if for me, the biggest challenge of making things is is distancing myself from the thing that I'm busy making. It's it's the hardest thing on the planet. I've got a trick with that. I don't know. I don't I've know what you. I've got a trick. Like yeah. What you, have you got something to step outside of the the box? Absolutely, bro. Cliche. Do you know what it is? Uh, this is something it's that the me. easiest thing, guys. Yeah. Call your wife. All oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Call your wife into the office. Say, come take a look at this, please. Yeah. That's hey, what. Man, that's what. That, I, and my wife comes through, and she's brutal, bro. Yeah, sure. But that's what I love about that it because she's so sure. honest. Yeah. If you don't have a wife or husband I, yeah. or whatever, get your friend or yeah. whatever. Send them a private yeah. link yeah, if it's yeah, a yeah. video, if it's whatever. Yeah, yeah. Get, get someone else to, look to see it. I, I fully agree with you. I mean, we've got a culture here where it's it's a case of like we know that we 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 that for each other as well. You know, mm -hmm. we, there's no feelings involved with making a thing in the sense of if someone's not feeling something, they say I'm not feeling it. Hey, if it's shit, it's shit. You know, that's the fa that's a fact. If it's yeah. just not cool. It must go. It doesn't even have to be shit. It could just be uh, Wrong okay, for and the, it, the it occasion. needs to be better. Yes. Yeah, and it can exactly, be. exactly. Yeah. We had, you know, we're working with a with a young a young pop artist by the name of Joshua Park at the moment. He was just on The Voice, mm -hmm. and he came came in and we started working with him. And it's been we're in the middle of this whole process with this guy, mm -hmm. and I think it's the first time that, for us at least, there's three producers on the on the gig, and. Yesterday was one of those moments, man. We hacked through ideas for hours on end. We were, we were in this very room right here, just hacking through ideas. And we essentially came up with about five or four good, workable things, things that you can use mm -hmm. in, in, in 
music or whatever. Mm -hmm. But then eventually, after pushing through all of that and, and just putting these things aside because they weren't quite there, we found that thing that was quite there. Mm. And now it feels good, but it's that creative thing. You have to bounce back and forth, back and forth mm. and trial and error, you You've know? You've got to be honest. Yeah. Because it yeah. is emotional what we do, music, video. <laughs> It's a it's an emotional thing. If it's not emotional, if you not feel if you don't feel the fire, it's gonna be cuck, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is emotional, but when it comes to taking criticism, and I'm the one to speak because I had to learn how to take criticism, um, you know, you can't let your emotions yeah. get involved. For yeah. sure, yeah. No, I, I, I remember watching an interview with Mike Shinoda. He's the guy from Lincoln Park, I think. Okay. Um, and he was saying, they were asking what's the hardest lesson he's ever learned. And he said, when going to art school, because in art school, what you do is, is you work on a painting for 50 hours. Then you put the painting up in front of a classroom of people and their job is to critique it and to tell you how shit it is. And it's like you've just not slept for five days mm -hmm. trying to make this thing. Um, mm -hmm. And then they literally go, oh, composition's bad. Your colors are terrible. Your, you know. Sure. They that's, like, that's, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and, and that's their the job. Is to, the, the job is to not to not be polite. That will make you learn very quickly. Yeah, how to take criticism. Hey? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, listen, mm. YouTube as well, man. YouTube is a well. Those comments, yeah. Yeah, see, some people can lay into others on YouTube. I tell me, it's entertainment, dude. I dig reading it. I go through. It. I just read people's comments. You know, but some people listen. I listen. I'll take a comment and stuff. I do read comments. I go to videos that aren't posted on my own channel. Obviously, most of my stuff is not posted on my yeah. channel. Yeah, like Universal will post on Universal's page For or whatever. Sure, yeah. But then, I, and I'll see a video that's really good that I've done, and then like this this comment that sticks out to me. It still does. Um, I, I don't have sleepless nights over it. I just think the guy's a twat. Sure. Um, but he just said, he just said, uh, this is the shittest director. And I'm like, mate. <laughs> yeah. Mate. So what, dude? Where, where does come, that come from? Let's even? have a conversation. Yeah. 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 And what's that Cold. scallywag doing? What Probably was his? Football. Yeah. What what <laughs> what was Selling his? What chicken. was his 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 username? It's yeah. probably one oh, of those God. little egg pictures and like some yeah. random number. It's like yeah. the problem with the internet. A lot of the times is people can hide behind their anonymity. On Ooh. anonym. What's the word? Anonym. An anonymity. That's hey, it. I think. <laughs> 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 but just, um, yeah, they can they can basically just go there and be no one and just mm. leave the worst comments on things just to make themselves feel better, feel better yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, <laughs> I just think they're heavy. idiots, but I do read their comments. Yeah, yeah. I had, a, I had a, a recent one with a dude that he was just pissed off that one of my tunes. But so so what happened was it's on it's on my YouTube channel. Um, okay. it's on a song called Sweet Sunshine, a lyric video, and the guy heard it. Mm. playing in the background of his office. And this mm -hmm. thing infuriated him because it sounded like I was ripping off some um, sting in the police tune. Mm -hmm. And But anyway, he was just pissed off with this thing. I, w I, wish, I, I wish I could actually find it. Amazing. I could read it to you. But dude, he was so upset. And then I, I commented, I said, you know, dude, can't win them all. Sorry, man. Well, you got you got good taste in music for the police and all, you know. Yeah. I'm sorry that I pissed you off so much by just making a song. <laughs> Peace. And, um, and you think like for someone to actually go into um, the comments and actually comment means it's really it's irked them somehow. Yeah. They're somehow, trying to make a point. Yeah. Check it out. I'll give you a post. Okay. So what I've done is obviously on Facebook I've got my own like personal profile for family and close friends. Yeah. Yeah. And then I've got uh, my business page. And then I've got two other profiles that are Kyle White TV and Kyle White TV Two, and because I, you reach that cap thing. Oh, prof right? actual profiles, not actual pages. Actual profiles. Right, gotcha. yeah. uh, it's like a five thousand limits yeah, or whatever. On. Yeah, and then you, you, people can follow you, but they're not friends with you. Oh, it's stuff. So weird vibe. Anyway, yeah. so on the one profile, I post I post um, three pictures, and what I say is, this is from now. I said, I'm really thankful to those people that said no to me in this industry. It is because of them that I'm doing it myself. Sure. Which I think is a pretty decent yeah. you know, thing. Um, okay, so then this guy chirps. He, he thinks he's been clever. Do you want to hear this? Sure, please. please. Okay. Um, not meaning to be an ass or anything, but how many people <laughs> have you said no to? <laughs> my response. My response goes like this. You mean like your friend request? Because I didn't accept his friend request, so I said no to him. <laughs> um, that was a joke. And then I gave him a, a, a long a response. I said, this post is not, was not meant to badmouth those people that were saying no to me in the industry. 
It is logical to accept that people will say no to you. This post is actually trying to show you that you have to create your own opportunity. Yeah. Success will never find you. You have to find it yourself. Yeah, that seems yeah, I'm, I'm sure. a, I amazing. I wasn't trying amazing. to say, all oh, the people that said no to me, no, no, fuck no. you. That's no, not no. what I was trying to say. No, no, no. I was trying to say, people did say no to me. Like, they're going to say no to you and you and you and you. And I rose above it. And you can do it yes. yourself. Yes. Anyways, um, right at the end, it's quite a long uh, post, uh, but uh, it responds. And <laughs> after, <laughs> after this, like, four paragraphs, I say, I hope this write-up is enough of an explanation for you. His response... That's more than enough. Thank you for laying it down. <laughs> oh, you do. Hey, man. Drop the mic. Where's the mic? Let's drop one. Yeah, oh, no. yeah it's one of those, dude. I don't know. I thought oh, it was man. funny. Dude, let's take it back, man. Where did this all start, dude? Let's go right back to the beginning. Tell us your story, dude. Um, okay. All right. I'm going to try and be short uh, to the point here. Okay. So, in, in high school, I went to boarding school in Port Elizabeth and I was always like, always involved <laughs> in drama and, and, and stuff like that. I, I loved drama and still do and theater and stuff like that. And uh, from an early, early age, like, I'm talking about like 12 years old, I wanted to be a TV presenter. Um, I even had a mic and a little speaker. Sure. And I, I used to like, Practice. present like I was emceeing from small, bro, and um, from like 12 or whatever, right the way through high school. I know some people who aren't into the arts or whatever will hear this and, and go, oh, that's so whack. You, you know what I mean? Because it sounds, you know. Anyways, so uh, the, when I was in boarding school, uh, there was this uh, uh, community radio station and, and still is called Bay FM. And when, oh, yeah. we, when we used to do homework at night time during prep time, uh, there would be a show and still is a show called Night School. And on night school, they used to do requests. So you could call in, request your track or whatever. And a lot of like uh, gray boys and collegiate girls would listen to it. It was just a thing and we'd request songs for each other or whatever. That's pretty and, cool. Yeah, it was cool. And I, 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 I wanted to be a team. Uh, like I, I wanted to like, get into radio presenting. Yeah, and sure, then, yeah. That you know, sort of the, as the stepping stone to yeah. the next thing. Now, I'm in high school, dude. So like you, when you leave the school premises, we used to wear, and still do, wear bashes. You know those like straw hats? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, anyways, uh, so what I did was um, I started practicing at home. And uh, and I used to record on my little like really crap mic with at my computer, and uh, I used to record like links and whatever. And I made it a CD of a whole bunch of these recordings, and I made the the, the error of taking that to to high school, um, and I had in the prep room I left my CD player on my desk, and when I came into the prep room, the homework room for nighttime study, uh, my fellow pupils had, had, had gotten a hold of this uh. and they were making fun of me. So uh, that was quite uh, tough. I, I, I got bullied a little bit, quite a bit, sure, actually. Yeah. And whatever, fuck, fuck him. Yeah, fuck that shit, dude. No, For I, sure. You make so, dope videos now, so, dude. <laughs> so anyways, Brian, so these oaks mocked me, okay? What I had been doing... Um, uh, at that point, um, I ended up hosting night school on BFM oh, wow. as the ah, presenter. Oh, for sure, dude. And, That's cool. And they got to listen to me, which was lekker. Oh, yeah, dude. And then, uh, yeah, then after that, uh, I went to Rhodes for a year, which, uh, and during that year, I got involved in the MTV-based presenter search. I entered that. I came second overall. And then I made the trip up to Johannesburg. And then I got a show on ETV as a presenter for about three years. Got involved in production that way. And okay. then, uh, yeah, and then after the show ended, I worked at a call center because I couldn't find a job uh, selling like Liberty Life things. Yeah. And uh, I started emceeing for Emperor's Palace, doing casino draws and stuff. And yeah, then, yeah. And then, I don't know, just I, I bought a little camera and shot a few free music videos and... Yeah, so you being on camera in your tutorials, I definitely understand where all of that comes from now. Yeah. yeah. You've actually got you got quite a bit of training that I never knew about. Uh, you know, life training with things and like even the MC gigs, all yeah. that. So you have to present yourself. <laughs> yeah. You know, being a radio host, you got to say the right shit, you know, and yeah. there's also, uh, uh, and you got to say it in a way that makes people listen. I'm with you, dog. You yeah. know, dude, so that's, mm. if what you guys were talking about earlier, you know? You know, the, the, it's amazing. The, the, the thing is with those, those, those links, those YouTube tutorial things, I, because I had the presenter training and the MC training from like doing casinos and stuff where you're speaking very like proper and whatever. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, you have to be careful of of not slipping that slipping in. into it. Um. <laughs> Very careful. It's like I'm doing my wedding speech, bro. <laughs> I'm doing my wedding speech in 2014. <laughs> I've got my best mate there from Port Elizabeth, Paul. He's sitting right next to me, and and he used to rip like rip me off in a really nice way because you know he always believed in me and, and knew I would be a presenter because that's what I wanted. Um, but he always he used to mock me in a, in the night like really like. With, with Chias, yes. if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. And anyway, so I'm doing my wedding speech and I'm always aware that when I get to a microphone, some it's just like a... So <laughs> anyways, during my wedding speech, my mate goes, my mate uh, chirps out of the corner, he goes, I'll go FM, your music, your world. <laughs> oh, and oh my goodness, and then bro. And then, oh. Yes, it's how to throw... Oh, that's at your wedding, bro. Yeah, bro, but I did that to myself. Oh, idiot. Ah, <laughs> oh, but mates do that. Mates do that, man. And the closer you are, you know, it happens. Yeah. yeah. Mates will always be mates, and that's the beauty of them. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So uh, with it, my first and second YouTube tutorial video, I had to be very careful of how I was talking. Sure. To the camera. They're great, though. I mean, they really are. Oh, yeah. Lekka, bro. Thank yeah. you, man. Yeah. I, I watch. Sweet, a, and I, I watch a lot of um, YouTube tutorials, and the for me, it's it's most of the stuff I know. Um, I've learned from YouTube. Like I, I'm, oh, me I'm, too, bro. I'm of the opinion that you can probably become a doctor of, of YouTube. You might not get the actual degree, but the <laughs> the, the, the information's there. You know, I'm brain surgery, and it's it's yeah, whatever it is. I mean, it's it's unbelievable the amount uh, of dude, information. Dude, I would that's say I would say ninety nine percent of what I know is from YouTube. That's yeah, absolutely. That's how I learned filmmaking. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I get so sick to death watching those shitty fucking tutorials, dude. Those ones that you know where you can see like the editing program and then the little. The little mm. face at the bottom. Uh-huh. Yours, dude. Yeah, I know. It's like a, it's like a whole production. There's depth of field. There's like, it's a whole production, bro. Oh, thanks. And, and that and, rubbish and, no and more, the you, know? you know? what the big difference is there for me is, is like, if I watch that, I'm listening to what you're saying a lot more because I'm like, yeah, this guy's making cool stuff. I also want to be able to do this. Dude, you know, versus I watching, that, I always like when you watch audio tutorials and you wonder if like, these dudes can actually the, the do guy, shit. Yeah, so the, the guy know? trying to explain compression yeah. and then when he presses play on his project and it sounds like dog shit, then you're like, you, I just stopped the video. Yeah, I'm like, this guy sure, has no dude. idea I what agree, he's doing. Man. Like, he's not yeah. going to teach me anything. So you basically, but just the quality of your, yeah. your tutorial. How we were talking about this a little bit earlier. I would love to do more of them. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I, I'm not, a, obviously, I'm doing it for my business. Obviously, I want my clients to go on there and go, okay, this oak actually does know what he's talking yes. about. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but I really want to help people. I love engaging yeah. with people. Yeah, absolutely. I really do. Aside yeah. from that idiot on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I really dig getting comments and yeah. responding to them. And yeah. I really love it, bro. Yeah. And, 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 and YouTube is a, is a great avenue. But what we were saying earlier is I just can't do enough of it. Yeah. Mm. I don't have the time yeah, to do it. For sure, because you're busy making shit. For real. Fuck, and that's more important, dude. Mm. It's the same that's, as us. We've been wanting yeah. to make a thing, yeah, about a thing, which will make a thing about a thing sometime. But <laughs> the reality is that we literally don't have the time. I, yeah. I mean, I am pl- play with bands and shit, so we're touring, we come back into town, we make music for the time that we're in town, then we mm-hmm. go, and Ricky's busy every weekend with shows, traveling all over the place, doing things. Mm. And it, you are the same. You're flying all over the show, mm. shooting video, yeah, editing there, grading there, running up and down, meeting, yeah. It's, it's fast. And I think that's the nature of creativity I just said now. to my mate, that I, I, mm. it was like three nights ago, we were having just a fire in my back garden. I have some wood to burn. And, and I said to him, dude, honestly, I just wish I could just pause time. So the whole world pauses and I will keep going. All oh, right, yeah. Do you yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. I want, I'm, all I need is three weeks. Three <laughs> weeks. <laughs> and then then I can do a, a plethora of these YouTube very videos and release For one sure. a week or whatever. Yeah. That's all I need. And yes. then, Brett, then you've got the other pressure of, of family. I mean, you're about to get married now. Yes. Hey, like all of that stuff takes up a lot of your time. Yeah. And it's so, imp- all those things are so important. I, yeah, find, I find those things enhance the creative process. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, mm-hmm. A, it's very much a one hand washes the other. Mm-hmm. If, if things are good at home, man, your creativity is going to flourish. You're quite right. And yeah. I, I really think so. And, but that's life, I think, in general. Yeah. You know, your home is your base. And if things are good there, mm-hmm. everything else will flourish. Yes, you're, you're right. Uh, yeah, people are going to throw stones, you know. It's always going to happen. You, th- hard shit is going to come. Yeah. But yeah. you can take the punch a hell of a lot better mm-hmm. when your home base is strong and oh, yeah, solid. Absolutely. Yeah. You know? Quite right, bro. Yeah. And that's why when you have an argument with your significant other, make sure that you sort your shit out immediately. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Don't let things... 
Lost, Linger, dude. Don't, don't manifest. Go, don't go to bed angry as yeah, what my father-in-law yeah. tells me. Of course. Yeah. And of it's course. so true, bro. Yeah. But you're quite right, bro. Things good at home. Hey, work's gonna life is great. good, bro. Yeah. And creativity flourishes, man. Uh, it's... Yeah. Uh, yeah, that... It's, it's cool. It's very, very cool. Tell me something. I've got a question for you. So, how do you find in the video world... Because we experience this quite a bit working with artists. But how do you find making things for someone else when it's never for you. So what I mean is, is like, when you when someone books you for a thing, mm -hmm. you are ultimately, as much as what you are putting in all this effort to, mm -hmm. to make this thing, and there's this part of you, like you were saying earlier, mm -hmm. you've spent all this time <laughs> building your brand, yeah. and you've spent all this time making sure that when someone sees your thing, they know it's you who did it. I but at the same mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. there's this thing where, you know, there's the artist or the, 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 the client mm -hmm. who you go, like for me, like this this Josh guy, partly why we spent most of the day yesterday going back and forth was we had good ideas, but then we were like, we don't know if this is right for the actual artist. Mm -hmm. You know, so there's always this, when I'm producing someone, I've always got this idea of of like, it's, I'm producing it, but this is not for me. This mm -hmm. is for, so I'm, I'm trying to make someone else's vision come to life and someone else's mm. create, or, or, or their creative identity come to life. So how's this, like, do you find that working with video, there's a certain you? thing? Or? No, 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 I, I, okay, yeah. Um, I find that with, I try and put in my own element where I can. Sure. The best videos are the ones that I have full creative control over. Really, eh? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. They're like Without little babies, a dude. Doubt. Every yeah. video is like a child of yours that's going mm. out into the world and will sure. forever be attached to you. Is yeah. that is that because people don't understand the art of storytelling and the art of things, and then they with the ideas or often just muddy no, things listen, up and don't? I, or or what, e what's your even, reason for? Even if the client comes to me with their own idea, I will make it the best it can be, and I will throw it in my bits and bobs. Obviously, because sure. that's that's what it is when you come to work with me. I'm going to add a bit of me into it. Absolutely. Or why? Sure. Why I mean, else would? I, I, that's why they're coming to you. Exactly, exactly with dude. music, bro. I get yeah. that so the much, man. Thought. There's no yeah, point thing. coming. I, I no, 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 no. If man. everyone was the same, then anyone, anyone could produce anything. But that's when I they agree. come to you and they yeah. go, make it happen. I don't know. Yeah. Then it's going to be good because I'm going to do everything. Oh, right. That's me. Everything's me. Yeah, I get you. know you. what I'm saying? Yeah. And then it comes back, there's no changes and stuff. The worst projects to work on is when they're within the, when there's a, a team of people who actually uh, know fuck all yes. that watch your yeah. stuff yeah. and they give you changes that take from the heart of it. Yeah. That for me just kills me. Bro. You know what? Maybe yeah. what's different. Maybe what's different. That doesn't different. happen all the time though. Sure. Let me get that straight. Sure. Sometimes the teams are good. No, no, no. I get you, yeah. Hey. We, I mean, we get a lot of that as well. We've got sometimes like a parent. Fuck. Jeez. And then it's how like, do you handle? Like, no, it's how heavy. Do you it's, handle it's it. Huh? The the, the yeah. difference for me with with music is is that when you I th well I guess is that when you when you're writing a song for someone they've got to be comfortable singing it at the end of the day which is which is maybe a different thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know what your that must be incredibly hard, eh? That's writing, what I'm, no, this writing is, words for this, someone. This is what I'm saying. So, sure. so in music, this is why I'm wanting to check if you've got the same challenge or not. Because I think in it music, must be harder a, for you. In music, it's really difficult because the thing is, if you, I can write a song that's great, but if someone doesn't want to sing it. That's mm. like that's it's it's a difficult thing. That right uh, there for me is mm. the the definition of a good frontman or artist. Should I say singer? A good singer that's representing something on stage is someone who would walk into the studio with us, sit down, and actually question the lyrics from the heart and say, "I can't work with these lyrics. They yeah. don't represent me." While we are working together and writing songs, or while, because yeah. then you can quickly tell whether or not there's a legit side to this person. Yeah. If they're doing this yeah. thing for legit reasons, they, other, but you, but you do get, there is a certain kind of front person singer that would literally walk in, and if it's a cool sounding song and the chorus says, um, I don't know, jam your big diggity dig. Yeah, jam your big diggity <laughs> dig. And they dig it because it's, Sounds cool. They don't really care what the lyrics are saying and they just front it like a puppet. Yeah. So generally a lot of older generation major label artists, pop yeah. artists, um, and they wouldn't really care what they're singing about. Really? They'll do it for the yeah, paycheck, yeah, you man. Get that. It's yeah. like Ed, Ed Sheeran has got a little documentary. It's called Songwriter. Yeah. You should go yeah. watch it on yeah. YouTube. Yeah, it's, it's great. A killer yeah. documentary, yeah. man. And how he writes oh, the, wow. how he writes that song for Justin Bieber. Yeah. It's Quick, great. dude. Yeah. Quick. <laughs> Dude, and that Bieber is such a cool documentary. Exactly yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's a cool documentary. I loved it. Yeah. yeah. Would you ever do something like that? Do what? Like a docky of sorts. Say now, Casper, because Casper is. Mm -hmm. I'd say Casper's probably our flagship guy right now. 
from South or Africa. Nasty in, in, Nasty C is also massive as well. I suppose Casper's got a lot of hype because of the stadiums and all that stuff that he's mm. been doing. Mm -hmm. Say now, one of these guys says to you, cool, I'm going on a tour through the States. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing 30 gigs. Come along. We need you to film this thing and mm -hmm. turn it into a documentary of sorts. But the documentary's got to feel like a Carl White music video. Mm. I've always wanted to do something like that. Matt yeah. Alonso does this thing called... Uh, up close or something. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know, yeah. And I love those things. Yeah, it's I great. love how he puts them together. Yeah. But I would also love to do like a long-form documentary, almost like songwriter in a yeah. way. But okay. I would love to okay. do that, be a part of the process. Yeah. Partly why I do what I do as well is not only because I, I love it and all that stuff is, well, part of why I love it actually is because I really enjoy music. Sure. Yeah, and sure. and I like, I like, uh, I really enjoy performers. Guys who, guys and girls who have a presence. Yeah. Mm. I love it. I love being a part of the yeah. journey in, in some way, shape yeah. or form. Yeah. These big music videos that I've done and I've actually loved the, the song and they, they, they're huge songs. It's super, it's, it's even cooler for me, dude, because yeah, yeah, I'm sure. there. I'm with the dude. Yeah. I'm essentially making the pictures yes. to the song. Yeah, it's great. It's yeah. an incredible, no, it's a, it's yeah, an incredible amazing, thing, dude. Have you seen um, what Kali did? With his last, there's, there's the relationship, the relationship between audio and visual nowadays, mm -hmm. with regards to popular music, is becoming super dope. Mm. Khalid, I think it was released initially on Apple Music. I'm gonna see if I can find it. But basically, his album, he's this most recent this album that he put out. is nice, eh? Hey? Sorry. Yeah, man, <clears throat> so man 15, I don't drink no more, dude. So I 15 stopped, years. I'm true. sitting here with my honey. It's bloody with nice. My non-alcoholic beers, man. Yeah, I know. Uh, I well, see. enjoy, guys. Cheers. Yeah, cheers, cheers my ching, bro. Ching. Cheers, ching. But um, Khalid's video, uh, dude. There's a whole movie that supports the album. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the album plays, and the and there's a visual thing, <laughs> but there's dialogue. And uh -huh. there's, dude, it's so clever, man. It is so uh, the, so, the, so the clever. The script actually did something like that too. Uh, I don't know the name of the album and stuff like that. But I, I, seen I, it. I, I I bought their CD. Couple of years back, maybe an like actual CD, an actual CD, right? And right. it had um, the the other CD, <laughs> which was the visual part, and okay. it was a, a short story. Oh wow! Hmm. It was like a short. That was like, like Beyonce's all... Lemonade at the same. Beyonce's yeah. exactly. Lemonade, exactly. another yeah. great oh, one. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, but now that's a that's a big project. Yeah, because I mean, a lot of a lot of people out out that aren't behind the scenes of a recording studio will think that it's, 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 it's a quick process to make an album. It's mm -hmm. actually a hell of a long process. Mm -hmm. Now, when you are m making essentially a movie to accompany the album, yeah. whether it be a series of music videos, of 12 music videos, 10 music videos, or different stuff. Because Lemonade, it seemed, I think Lemonade, if, if I'm not mistaken, it was basically a bunch of music videos that yeah. they'd done, mm -hmm. but they tied them together yes. in a way. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. That's a big ass job, dude. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even know where to start. I don't think. Sure. Listen, that that w listen. I think it's very cool. I think I you like could pull it off, it. man. Oh, and thanks, I Chief. really sincerely <laughs> hope, and and I hope you do, man, because it'll be cool. Do you know what I've been doing lately that I really enjoy, guys? Um, I've found a real passion for it. Is I'm I've been filming music video. Listen, I like music videos for perhaps artists you don't know, like Nigerian guys or whatever. But um, like for example, this one guy, he just he was one of those guys. Was like, I trust you. Just do. What do you think sure. we should do? And I told him. And obviously, it went along with what I really am enjoying doing. And I, I'm shooting, I'm trying to shoot little short films yeah. in these things. Yeah. And and uh, no slow motion, none of this the slow motion typical stuff. I love doing it. I've done it a lot. I'm good at speed ramping or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I like filming real time stuff, handheld. None For of this sure. gimbal cuck. Yeah. You know these guys? They, they they grab a camera, they put it on these stabilizers. They're like, ooh. Look, I shoot stuff. Oh, shut up. You don't. Mm. Come. Anyone can do that. For sure. I like filming real stuff. Sure. That's really getting me excited. Sure. Okay. But if it, I was I was yeah, just gonna ask cool. how, what 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 balance do you have between um doing what you know works mm -hmm. and and versus challenging yourself with trying new things and and mm. and moving your boundaries? Let me tell you something. I've found the majority of the time when you challenge yourself and do something that you don't typically do or whatever, uh you end up really nailing it because you put yourself yeah. under so much pressure yeah. to get it right. Yeah, that's I agree. so true, dude. Yeah, I, agree, I dig it, dude. I that's agree. why you must never be scared yeah. in music, whatever Just it is. Just go for it, man. Just go for it. Yeah. Try, try something hey, new and you'll find you'll be pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Dude, we make a lot of interesting stuff within these walls. I'm sure <laughs> you say you there's do, like bro. those music videos that you've been making that are short films and we yeah. don't know the artists. Yeah, and yeah. 
we have a similar situation where, I mean, we work on some interesting music sometimes. Yes. You know, and sometimes cultural. I've, I've got a particular artist in... We've been working on an album for a while now, but he's just... It's been one hell of a cultural experience with this guy. Yeah. How so? Um, it's like traditional, like very... Sound is, is essentially... Sound represents culture and tradition locally in South Africa. And, I mean, all over the world, really. Okay. You know, okay. India's got a sound. But yes. South Africa consists of, what, 11 different languages. And... It's a melting pot. Yeah, it is, definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I mean, and as far as what I certain, understand, there's certain, there's most, certain guys of, that, most, most of these languages have a particular sound or style mm -hmm. of music yeah. or rhythmical pattern that you can identify. So you can hear like a, a sound from ven like the vendor community, for instance. Okay. And they have a sound. And so he's been explaining a lot of this stuff to me as we've been working. And that has been so interesting. How exciting. Yeah, yeah, it's almost like accents. So if you think of this America, how every state has its own accent. Yes. And, and some people can literally hear an accent and go, you're from Oklahoma. Yeah. You know? Um, it's the same with music in South Africa. There's all these traditional tribes and 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 people. And they they, they all have their own little unique things musically. And, and the one, this guy that we're working with, um, he's just so in tune with all of that. So then when you're working with him, you're exposed to all this like very nuanced views over things. And it's, it's unbelievably educational, man. Yeah. No, it is. It's been, a, it's been one hell of an experience. And I don't want to, I can't reveal the artist right now. It's, it's just, I, I've, I personally, I find it unethical to speak on behalf of other people's creative processes while we're making it, you know? Sure. Um, but I cannot wait to share that album. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing, man. It's it's, it's got heart Because it's soul. been a journey for you as well. Like it's he been gets, a journey. Yeah, he gets yeah. these BV singers in and they're singing a thing and it's just like they're singing it like a hundred times over because of one word that they're not pronouncing right or because it's not authentically the thing, you know? And he it's, gets it, dude. I, yeah. I, I couldn't hear the difference and he, he literally had been up all night and he came back in and, and he was just like, the, yeah, the, the backing vocals are not right. And I was like, well, they sound pretty cool, you know? And he's like, no, 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 it's not, it's not what I'm looking for. And then he explained, mm -hmm. you know, it was a series of conversations with this guy and still is, you know, mm -hmm. saying was as if it's over, we're still busy with it, but it's long form. And it's been, it's been, it's been lovely, man. Mm. Hell yes, to cultural things and learning stuff on the gig and putting yourself in hot water. Yeah, yeah. You throwing know? yourself in the shit. Yeah, yeah dude, you got <laughs> it, you got it. And that's, a, I think the first time I met you, we went, um, climbing up in the bush bro and you had a camera yep. and we were like running around in some hills shooting a weird acoustic midi video <laughs> shooting bees and boots dude uh, it's that was how I met you walking yes. around so it's yeah. ironic you say that you're digging this like you've got this thing and you like you want to handheld and mm. that's very cool man I'm yeah. loving it bro yeah it's amazing yeah. I'm just excited to see what what what's in what's in store for the future. That's what's so exciting about this industry. You don't know what you're going to be recording in a year from now. Because mm. tomorrow the phone rings, dude. Have you spent yeah. any you know, time? And something different may yeah speak on the other side. Yeah. Have you spent any time, or or have you found that there's any interest in sort of like doing music videos in like a VR? Immersive space at all, or have you not really no, delved no, into that? I haven't. No. Yeah, there's there's been one or two artists that I've seen that's done that sort of thing, and it's 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 not really been done well. I think. I'm trying to remember who it was that did that. I think Avicii, Avicii had a video to... like that. That was oh, like one it? of those that you could sort of put your phone in one of those little. I've never really Google been things. one from those. Things nah, dude, ever. I think that that VR technology still needs some time. It's I mean, like, I understand this like cool 3D, shit going bro. on. Like, yeah, I, I don't like watching 3D movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't enjoy it. It's yeah, yeah. annoying. 4D is even worse. They spray fucking shit in your face. Yeah. Fuck the off. fuck? You're watching a movie, <laughs> chowing your popcorn, a cat pisses on the fucking screen and it sprays in your eyes. I mean, I get it. Cool. For sure. There's a little hose pipe, little thing there. It's cool. It's spraying. It's blowing a bit of air, a bit of steam. Whatever. Like, just put me in a comfortable chair. Give me my popcorn old and school, bro. some chicken wings or whatever. Yeah. Straight up and let's school. watch a movie. Yeah. That's, that's my vibe, dude. But VR for me has not got my attention however i've had one or two experiences it's been like very like whoa okay really this thing might be real yeah for real yeah hmm. vr yeah i think once they I crack it I, I think once they crack it proper it's gonna be it's where gonna be a thing. where well, tell, tell us more i went to one of these convention things man mm -hmm. what are they those where it's like 
yeah. Media World or whatever. Then yeah. Fucking everyone's there. And <laughs> so they had like a demo. <laughs> but yeah, was this like, like a, a demo booth. But now let me be realistic. Was this like one of those like half a million rand Jaws with like a booth and you got no, to get no, no, in it. No, and it, like, it, they put no, sensors it was like, on your arms. Have you, arms, have you, had, <laughs> have you messed with the Oculus Rift things? No. Yeah, you know, it's quite. It's it's very different to putting your your phone in a Google one of those little boxes things. Really? Yeah. No. No. It's great. Eh? It's really. I think it's not perfect yet by any stretch of the imagination. I want to check what this thing but, looks at. but once looks they like. once they nail it, I think it's gonna it's gonna be like you know when you watch movies where. What's that animated movie where everyone lives in the VR world and then they they you know? Are you saying this this thing? I I like, I can imagine. Do once, you get into something? Yeah, I I can imagine how you could. How it's a normal you could, VR goggle, dude. It's this just is, goggles. This is a chair. Let me no, show no, no, no. It is VR goggles. Yeah, but this what I'm it. saying is, like it's not like it's a, it's, a it's not better quality. Of Star Wars. <laughs> Way better quality. That's the vibe. Uh, yeah, yeah, and it's it's not like putting your phone in one of because when you put your phone in one of those little VR thing. viewer things, yeah. you can see all these edges. It's like and pixelated, man. It's pixelated it's and like weird. A, where these things are built for it specifically. So when you when you're having when you're inside an environment or whatever, it's it's it it can be quite. <laughs> Initially, especially, like, I mean, you get over it quite quickly, but what I'm saying is, is once they nail it, I can see how that effect of like, whoa, what's happening? Of submerging yourself in it. Yeah, so there's one of the things where they like jump out of a plane or whatever, or those sort of things. And I could, li I was literally like, oh, fuck. Like, I had this mm, feeling of what, imagining. You get that thing in your stomach. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Even without the f yeah. actual feeling. Yeah, so, all you're so, no, no, is, so, that, so that's nah, okay. no, no, I don't sure. believe this. Dude. No, no, no. So, I, what, I I'm, to, I'm so what I'm saying is, is that's the bit that then makes it not believable. What did your face do when you were about to jump out the plane? Show us your facial expression. No, I, I don't know what my face did. But <laughs> 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 really? I mean, no. Listen, <laughs> aesthetically, these things look very cool. No, they are dope, but it's it's uh, apart Jeez, from like, that, like I that mean, out, dude. Oh, they're selling it really fucking well. No, oh, just, bro, cool. I'm gonna get one of those and just wear it to like checkers. Yeah, but I think they're like ten grand. No, but my my point being is. I do think once they crack it, it's going to be like really immersive, and and it already is to an extent. I think I think you can you can have moments there where where it's crazy, it's and I think once yeah. artificial intelligence and VR and all these things meet, um, I think I I can see a future where people get lost there and and be hooked up to some sort of feeding machine and just lying there in this perfect VR world. Like, have you watched Black Mirrors? It's those someone, things. Someone told me yeah, the other day. Remember the Star this Trek out. episode? Yeah. This guy, I, I, I this guy, out, he's no. like a loner at work or whatever, and and anyone who like pisses them off or whatever at work, but he's very very intelligent. He like gets their DNA somehow, so like from a cup or whatever. Yeah, takes it, and when he gets home, he puts it into this like glass box and he sub and then he puts these things on his temples and then he goes into this yeah. VR world yeah. and all those people that mistreated him are actually there but really there <laughs> and he like just transport them and now there, yeah. he's in Star Trek and he's the captain of the ship and he <laughs> just he just murdered all of them it is very I must funny. check this out what's Should it I, called Black, Black Mirror Black that's Mirror. great it's, Netflix. Uh, it's on yeah it's on Netflix all right, for I think sure. that specific one is second series. or third season yeah one. yeah I've been watching Handmaid's Tale. That oh shit just gives me nightmares. God, it's, it's great, so though. Good. I haven't watched it. It's yeah, so see, you haven't good. seen it. Is it a series? It's shot very nice. Series. series. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's filmed in Toronto. Show um, nice. Sort of post-apocalyptic in a way. Like it's it's like, but but uh, in, there's this thing that happens. Yeah. Um, and and women can't give birth anymore. Not not all women, anyways. And okay. there's a select few women who can still. And then there's this whole religious cult thing that kicks in, and they basically force these women that can still be pregnant, get pregnant, to basically become handmaids to families. And it's basic. It's fucked up. It's basically like a part of America, and it's called. It's they've a changed the name to Gilead. Gilead. And it's this and it's whole, ruled by commanders. Yeah. And your ranking gets. I mean, it's completely totalitarian. Who comes but up it's with so these ideas, bro? The problem Dude, with the, it, the, the, the reality of this crazy shit is somewhere in this world, because that's that's a totalitarian approach. Yeah. And there's guys in the world that actively believe that that is the way countries yeah. should run. Maybe yeah, not yeah. that way particularly, but I mean, if we look at, I mean, you look at. Um, I can see. I can see North Korea. Yeah. Good example. I can see uh -huh. if 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 if, it exists, if an event like that had to happen. Up. Where, where you go, okay, wait, two thirds of women now can't, or maybe even more. It's a small percentage of women who can still have babies. I think if that happens, I can completely see how people can take religious texts and turn it into something like that. Oh, yeah. That's 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 how the whole thing is is sort of framed, is that they use 
like almost like Christianity as a foundation to this whole because they they have all these in the whole show they've got these um it's all underpinned with like 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 religion basically they have like these little sayings what they they when blessed two people, be the fruit yeah when two may people, the lord open yeah when when two that's people, how you greet someone yeah when someone you know like a blessed greeting. be the fruit Carl and then and the other person know, goes may the lord may, open may the lord but, open yeah. Ah. Yeah, and then it's like oh. it's praise like that's be. the whole praise be. Yeah, that's the whole vibe of yeah, the thing. Dude, it's whack. <laughs> it's whack, dude. And they speak Whoa. like that. It's it's crazy, dude. So the the reality, someone firstly wrote that shit. Yeah. Um, it's shot beautifully. Yeah, Go check really, that out, yeah. man. And it's the sh- acting season and three the... now is absolutely crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, speaking of series, dude, as a man who's into f- um visual content and mm-hmm. you make that shit and you do it well this can game, go two ways I just want to know man because there's been such an uproar about Game of Thrones mm-hmm. what's your opinion do, were you a Game of Thrones person I don't have an opinion on Game of did Thrones did you watch it my wife watches it you didn't watch it yeah. guys Never. Can, I, I need to be honest with you bro you I, don't have I know time. you oaks are busy you oaks are so busy too right I dude I I, I said to my <laughs> wife I, like last week I was like babe all I want to do is just such a and watch a movie. Yeah. But I can't, bro. Yeah. Because yeah. You, I want you guys to remember this This about my little production thing is that um, <clears throat> I, I'm producing it. Yeah. I'm shooting it. You're and editing then I'm it. editing it and color grading. Yeah. Other 24/7. guys, they're doing one person one per job. I'm yeah. doing mm. all of the things. And then with with my I work from home, so um, and my little girl's only eight months old. I'm I want I get FOMO, dude. Yeah. So, so you want to wa- spend time with her instead yeah, of watching dude. some shit. So when my wife's like uh, on the patio and she's like laughing or whatever, I'm like run out of my office. I want to like, see what's sure, going on. What's happening here? You know. Yeah. Uh, so I so know. Is I just there... don't have time to watch Game sure. of Thrones, bro. Do you find it easier? Do you do you always work? As one man alone and do everything. Yes, yeah. Do you find it easier? Is it your workflow? Your mm, preferred workflow? It is my preferred workflow. I've, uh, you know, I've heard many, you know, I've heard people say, you know, if you want to expand your business, you need to, you know, get people to do other jobs so that you get, sure. But. It's not your work thing. No, that's not me. Like, yeah. money is one thing, but like, happiness is, happiness is yeah. more important to me. Yeah. I'd rather take less of a workload, still be super busy, but like, just, I'm happy, bro. I'm happy. With how I am. It works. It works. You don't for need me. to like throw a spanner in the yeah, works right bro, now. My little girl smiles. Yeah. My wife's happy. That's Lecker, cool, bro. Yeah, I'm happy. Amazing. So, so that's it, very cool, dude. Thanks, bro. So it seems like it seems like a good life, and it's and you and, and you're saying you 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 sort of traveling abroad and checking yeah. things out that yeah. side. Yeah, I'm going. I am actually leaving. Are you actually moving? I'm moving now. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Dude. Yeah, where you go? Where, where to? So uh, my dad's Irish, so I have an Irish passport. Ah, and my little wonderful. girl has an Irish passport as well. Um, my whole family lives there. So, uh, my sister's a cop in London, guys. Wow. Uh, and my brothers are there. My parents okay, are there. So you... I'm the only person left here out of my family. So that sure. they all move there? Yeah, they okay. all moved there. My, my one brother's been there for 14 years and right. my parents have been there for like six. And then also now having having a, a, a little one. Um, oh, she's yeah, got the four other side cousins of the world. over there. Yeah. For sure. Um, and, then, and then also when, when you have a kid, I, like do you have a... Do you have, no, uh, no, 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 I don't no, have a kid. Not no, yet. No. You're about to get married. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but the thing is, guys, honest to God, as soon as you have a kid, it's your whole perspective yeah, sure. changes. So while there's family, and that's am- yeah. amazing, a big part of it. Mm-hmm. The uh, security and safety of my child is of the utmost importance to me. And it, I cannot be um, selfish anymore. I told uh, my one friend, uh, Coffee, uh, two weeks ago, I'm like, Coffee, I'm, I'm, I'm bouncing, bro. And, you know, like we went to London, I shot music videos, there's money to be made there, yeah. there's a demand for what I do yeah. Yeah, uh, for my skill set. And he's like, yeah, but Carl, you've you've worked so hard, bro. You've you've really built your brand up. I'm like, my brand yeah, can go with me, man. Brand can go with me. I've got a portfolio now, yeah. and it's only uh, a flat away. And he's like, you can't you know, forget the opportunities you've had, yeah. And I'm like, I'm not bad bad mouthing my country, bro. No, this yeah. is my home, sure, bro. Like, and sure. it always will be till the day I die. And I I accept and I appreciate everything that that uh, the opportunities that I've created for myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm gonna create new ones. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, all, it's a part of life, and absolutely. Not, yeah. Uh, yeah, and I mean, let's be honest. The the rand isn't the strongest thing mm. at the moment. It's, mm. it's really the rand makes things difficult. So if you can work mm. and earn in foreign currency, 
You should, yeah. That is the way forward, was, man. You got to do that. I, you know, in your from your thirties upwards, that's when you thirties to like you know forty five or whatever. That that's where you must make money, bro. Yeah, you yeah. Know, like the, you don't want to be stuck in while your While I said, while I said, at the same time, money's not everything. It still is a major part in 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 keeping a certain lifestyle, and mm. that's that's all I'm aiming to achieve. And I know I can do it, perhaps. Even easier, yeah. Overseas, so yeah, yeah, I think absolutely. it's a it's a no brainer for me, bro. Yeah, yeah no, I, really I, I agree. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, so we we try and jump around as much we can. Mm. It's we've built up a nice strong network abroad and everything, and you, you know, it's listen, dude. Let, let's I love be, South Africa, let, though. Let's be. I love South Africa. I love its people. I love the diversity. Yeah. Um. I love the different genres of music I've got to work with. From <laughs> and you, you hip-hop, have, dude. You have, man. Quito house, all of it, bro. And and uh, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed myself, and I have very, very fond memories. Yeah. But I have to do what's what's right. I have to just be realistic yeah. about my surroundings. I'm not living in a bubble. I, I, you know, I live in a freestanding house and I'm on the WhatsApp groups in my suburb. And if I had to show an, a per- person from a first world country the type of shit that happens in my area <laughs> or across the road from me. <laughs> yeah, dude. Know? I was in Toronto. I was in Toronto. Yeah, I was in no, Toronto. It's, it's was wild. it last year? And made some really good friends there. And, and I got back here and I was driving in four ways. Um, and at a place there, there's like a little road sign that says hotspot, uh, hijack hotspots, yeah. you know, one of those road <laughs> yeah, signs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I snapped a photo and I just sent it to them, you know, and the reply, this girl literally sends a message going, what the fuck? <laughs> Get out of there. <laughs> like, yeah, she was like, what the fuck yeah, is that? Mate, like, yeah. you know, no, listen, it's, un- it is it's, wild. it's unfathomable to them. Guys, they don't it gets get wild. It, yeah. Guys, touch, touch wood, but I, you know… <sighs> Like I said, having a kid changes your perspective on stuff. But, mate, when when my wife goes, you know, I'm going to the big pick and pay on William Nickel. Uh, I'm going to take Harper with me. I'm like, <laughs> she's going to be in the back. You're going to be driving. No, I'm going to come with you because then at least they can they can take me and you can take Harper and bounce. You yeah. know, I'll take the bullets. But honestly, bro, if I could go next week, whilst I've said all these very kind, beautiful things that I, I'm going to miss this, but I am. Sure, yeah. But dude, if I could go now, I would go. Yeah. So have you got any, have you got any uh, video <laughs> prospects abroad? Yes, yeah. So um, so I've done these videos now. Um, I'm about to start editing those. Those will be, st- what I mean about, that means next week I'll start on those guys. Um, and uh, to be honest, uh, this first time around, this first trip was to just kind of put a feeler out, see what it's, you know. Uh, there's my wife. Uh, let me just answer. Babes? Chanel? Hello? Chanel? Babe? Wait. Oh, she. <laughs> <laughs> Bad news. This is live, guys. Um, it's probably the reception in Yemen. Um, so what I did uh, the first time around, probably why I actually got six bookings initially, anyways, is uh, because I decided to charge for a one man show. So so just me, no assistant, no yeah. nothing, right? So I, I charge significantly lower than what I charge here, obviously because no one knows me there or whatever. I just you wanted to. You want to make a bit of a buzz? Feel it and, out. She's, yeah. She's calling again. Let's see. How's it, babe? Chanel? Hi. Hi, my angel. You? Yeah, you, you're live on the podcast. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay, I'll speak to you now, sweetheart. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> I thought that would be funny. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll listen back to this podcast. Yes. Oh, man, yes. we've had all sorts of weird things happen with these phones. I mean, Siri jumps in the conversation from time to time. That yeah. happens all the time. Though. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Um, uh, so. Yeah, what, what else is uh, yeah, UK yeah, yeah. and then and then um and the, the videos will turn out great. Um the, the artists were were, were um awesome. Uh the one shoot I arrived there. Now the, the pricing for these videos and they knew what was included and excluded, but uh on the one shoot, these guys they give me a four page script. So oh short, my gosh. they basically wanted a short film, so I shot that by myself, but you know, it took a yes, long time. Dude. It took a <laughs> mood of a long time. And oh, the thing please, is what's quite sh- nice about shooting in the yeah. UK in terms of lighting and stuff is that because it's overcast, it's, it's, it's like a giant yeah. softbox all the giant time. Giant softbox all the time. The yeah. lighting is it's just amazing, beautiful. Man. So yeah. that made my job a hell of a lot easier. And also just like being with with the 
with the uh, people and being in the streets. And to be honest with you, walking around uh, London, like we shot uh, close to the London Eye for the one uh, performance scene. And um, walking, even though it was a low budget music video, I still hired a red cinema camera. Like I did it properly. I of didn't course. charge them for it though. Sure. Mm -hmm. I, I just went and did it for them. So they, they essentially shat themselves when they saw me rock up with a cinema camera. Sure. But uh, uh, let me tell you what was incredibly liberating. Walking in London City with freedom of movement. Yeah. Not yeah. worrying. Dude, I shoot in Johannesburg City all the time. Yeah, no, it's oh, yeah. got a stress, I shoot yeah. with security. And because I'm in the industry, the, yeah. the number of people that have been not hijacked but held up. Yeah. And in mid shoot, dude. Mid shoot. Have you had any incidences, dude? No, bro. I got my. I got You've my. You managed I, to get I, the yeah for sure. I got my brothers, my Congolese brothers. They look after <laughs> they me. They just come and hang out yeah, and just chill. No, I got and... my crew. I call them uh, the most oh, yeah. loyal, lovely guys, bro. I'm like, but the reality is, if you you've don't, got your gear, you got bro, everything on the street bro, it's with so you, dude. So expensive, and, and I'm liable for a lot of it. Mm. Um, often though, what I will do is I, I try and avoid just shooting in the city, like just shooting in the city. I will hire a rooftop or hire okay. a, a location. Because I was going to ask you about licensing and stuff like that in mm. in the UK in London. Was it mm. was it was it difficult to shoot you, in Zone One? No, no, really. I That's didn't have amazing. a massive team though. Ah, oh, you keep it. Ah, oh, so for all they know, low profile, know, bro. Low profile. Oh, yeah, no that is problem. so cool. No that's so. That's funny. very clever, it's dude. Easy peasy. They're also used to it a lot mm. more there, I think. Yeah, and I, I mean, was shooting a lot of the shoots were outside London as well, okay. like just outside the city. Okay. Um, no problems, bro. No problems, yeah. oh, dude. I just, I, dude, and also, um, listen, I'm really excited about moving to London. It's not like I'm a newbie. I've, I've been going every single year for the past 10 Pulling years. Pulling in, okay? doing your thing. Because, no, 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 not even working, just visiting my brothers or whatever. Sure, sure. This was the first time I've actually been working. But, dude, I love it, bro. Especially yeah. now, because now I was making money, you know. Uh, well, That's, like which is a game changer. Business. That's all you need. Bro, you need getting, that foot in the door. Getting on the train getting on the subway and everyone's laser well. focus and everyone's there to make money. And it's like, oh, the weather's cuck. Whatever, the weather's cuck, but the money's good. And guess what? I'm going to travel and enjoy my life with yeah. that money. I'm going to experience yeah. things with yeah. my family. You can go over yeah. the pond there and have the yeah. whole of yeah. Europe. I'm not there for the weather, mate. Yeah. I'm there to graft. And make and, a living and, and be safe. And be safe, yeah. most importantly. Yeah. You know, I really enjoyed it. I'm super excited. So anyways, so there are prospects getting back to your question. That's amazing. Uh, yeah. And I'm going back at the end of August and the plan is, so while I was shooting now, I was posting uh, like uh, um, the stories and stuff. Uh, one of these, uh, these quite famous Nigerian guys who lives in London um, is keen to shoot with me. So I've arranged to go back at the end of August. Haven't decided a date yet. There's also another uh, very famous uh, Nigerian guy called Zorro that I've shot with before in South Africa and he wants to shoot in London. Okay. So what I'm going to do is set up much bigger shoots now. Sure. Getting closer to what I charge here okay. with a slightly bigger team. Sure. I don't want you to think I'm some privileged oak that uh, got given money to buy stuff because that is not the case, bro. When I moved up to Johannesburg, my, my dad gave me like two grand in an envelope and I slept on my brother-in-law's uh, couch for six months before yeah. I got my, my first TV presenting gig. This shit has not been easy. Yeah. But it's also been a long period of time. So don't think I just have all these things. Yeah, I, 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 often, I often have that as well where people look at what you do or like what I do or what Howie does or like you, you know, yeah. like where you're in a position where your job is not a job in the same way that it is for other people. Yes. Like you really love what you do, you know? Yes. And then people look at you and go, oh, you're so lucky that you can do what you do. Mm. And I always I just have the sense of like, yeah, but you don't understand the mission it was to get here. It took us this 15 years to get our degrees. Yeah, you, you know, know what I'm saying? It wasn't it's, like a three-year course. And and Because I didn't study this either and Ricky didn't yeah, study and either. And it's still All a hustle. Oh, you guys self-taught? Yeah. All three of us are self-taught in this You yeah. legends, bro. Right <laughs> yeah. on of course, bro. I did not know that. But you yeah. didn't tell me that. How am I supposed to know? I, mad respect, bro. Because now, like, we're completely on the same yeah. wavelength here. Yeah, 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 dude. And it's the school of life and... YouTube. Whatever your art is, yeah. yes. you know? Yeah. YouTube, I, I did learn a lot of the audio stuff from YouTube, yes. Yeah. Definitely. Um, I, I think what's important is, and I think maybe this is something we have in common, is, is just curiosity in the sense that when you, yes. you want to do something, yes. I get so curious about it to like a… An obsessed place. I've yeah. seen you in that space. Like Almost obsessive. annoying. I've seen yeah. Rick Rock up, yeah. Well, I get, yeah at 8.39 and Rick's already been here for an hour and his eyes are bloodshot. I'm like, how are you doing, bro? And he's like, dude, I haven't fucking slept. 
Yeah. I need coffee. And I'm like, what, what, what happened, bro? And he's like, nah, dude, this, you see this thing. I read this thing and then it got me thinking and then I was up the whole night because I couldn't stop thinking and research. You yeah. do get into that mode. Yeah, and so yeah. do I, man. Yeah. It's the fire, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And I, it's, it's like this complete obsession. <clears throat> yeah, and and so, so to bring me back to the point is that so like this idea, my sometimes you, beers. you guys want anything I, from I'd that like side of the whiskey? Get a whiskey yeah, for man. sure, I'll top you guys. But you're not going for a smoke break, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Caught you, bro. But yeah, but, but just before you go, it's my one bad habit. Just be, it's probably the worst you could. Just have. before you go, so yeah, so there's there's this idea of like the, where, where people can look at you and go, oh, you're privileged, but it's like they don't understand the effort. The it's, that, it's that same thing of something like you make this thing that people like, and it yeah. seems so simple, but you're like, no, no, mm. listen, man, it's. Yeah, like like I was saying earlier, fifteen years to get this degree. Yeah. You know, I've been doing but it. But you see, years. you'll you'll have some people that uh, will walk into this beautiful space and go, ah, these guys, they're yeah. privileged. Privilege. Yes, exactly. And yeah. I and but you must ask questions first before you want to yeah. jump to conclusions. Yeah. 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 Where did it nah, start? Bro, where did the graph start? Yeah, yeah. dude. No, nah, for sure. You didn't have it from the start. Yeah. Yeah. You have to build it up. It's like when I started my just basic here to give people a visual here. Mm. When I started out, that five grand that I got back from SARS <laughs> from being a, from being an MC or whatever, um, I bought a little Canon 550D. This yeah. is an entry level yeah, Canon DSLR. Yeah, super entry level. Yeah. My next, my next thing, and I shot free music videos. The first music video I got, I only got five grand. I took that five grand as I got paid it, bro, and I bought myself a half a meter dolly to get sliding shots, yeah. to get little dolly shots, because yeah. I knew yeah. I needed different movement. Yeah. Then I got another music video where I could use the dolly and make it look a little bit better. Mm. This is all small scale now. Yeah, bro, but this is one after you, the sure. next, bro. Mm. The next guy that came for a music video, I bought myself a glide cam, which is like, yeah. it's almost like a, a gimbal like for smooth shots. But like a, okay. a, a, it's like a mechanical gimbal, basically. It's, it's not digital. But it's, yeah, it's yeah, not okay. It's not electronic, uh, though. That's what I'm saying. It's not. Yes, it's, yeah. That's what I mean, mechanical. You it's it's like your, a, It's like an analog. Exactly, it's what they use Sorry, do you want to grab those drinks? Yeah, let me get you guys. Let me okay. just get another whiskey going. Here. Um, yeah, this whiskey is lacquer, man. Yeah, it's, a good um, it's lacquer, my bro. But you see, but you see how everything builds up. It's like yeah. these compressors or whatever these things are, these mixing discs and all these lovely things that you have here. Um, these speakers and things. You had to. You I was to making music. I was making music in a home studio for ten years of my life. What's up? Yeah, 10 years, like in, in a shitty room with shitty acoustics where you would mix a thing and then listen on it and it didn't translate to the outside world. And so we've got learned. two lessons to learn yeah. here. First lesson is don't jump to conclusions about someone's because you see their current situation. Don't assume that they've been given yeah. shit. Yeah. Um, second lesson is uh, if you have shit, you can make something out of nothing. Yeah, absolutely. Because you're a walking example. Yeah. So there's two things to yeah, do. Yeah, no, I absolutely, I absolutely agree. What I, what I wanted to ask you was, have you, obviously, I mean, I, I think there's a soul you get, you often, I often watch these videos where it's like they give pro photographers like a shitty little camera and then they still make amazing photos, you know. <laughs> um, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, there's obviously mm -hmm. a big, big part of, of, Sometimes you take a nice photo and someone yeah. says, oh, what a nice camera. I'm like, fuck you. Uh -huh. It's like, I, I learned how to take the fucking photo. Mm -hmm. I didn't just like, you know, it's not the camera. You're you know? quite right. Like you, I mean, you, you, you use um, red cameras, which for people who don't yeah, know, they, video, they, yeah. they, they're ridiculous. They, they're really good they're cameras. They're incredible cameras. But yeah. if you don't know how to use it, you're going to still make a yeah. shitty thing. Like you're it's, quite it's, right, bro. You know, and it's, it's so, what I, so there's obviously that aspect to it. On the other hand, what I wanted to ask you is how is the... Because how long have you been doing, making music videos for now? Just uh, as a sort of a rough... Uh, about seven years. I okay, think. so say seven years. I mean, technology has advanced quite mm, a bit in the yeah. last seven years. Like if you think of editing software, cameras. Yeah, yeah. Cameras, maybe not as much. Well, cameras... They, they have, entry, but it's, Entry level prosumer cameras, yes. Yes, but at the level that you're shooting, maybe not as much, whatever not, the case no, not is. As, not as much. But, but from an editing workflow and from a... It's constantly changing. Yeah, and, 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 and improving by like leaps and bounds. Exactly, um, but what's so, so, so... So how is that... How have you found that and how have your... Oh, it's lovely because yeah. these updates that happen are an update. So uh, there will be an update to your 
your editing software that will make things a lot easier for you. But it, it, it it's like four or five different things that have been improved and then it's as simple as going update. And then, yeah. you know, you learn those five things very, yes. very quickly. Yeah, absolutely. It's not yeah. like they're dumping a hundred new updates. And you, yes, you understand sure. What I'm saying? sure. I, I think it's the same with music. Okay? It is, yeah. I mean, with, with Pro Tools for the longest time, you couldn't do offline bound. So if you wanted to rent, of like, we yeah. call it, I don't know what you call it in video, like render out, but yeah. So in, in, in music we say you bounce it out. I don't know what no, it's the same thing. Okay. Yeah, so so when mean. so when we bounce out a song, like in Pro Tools or I hate Pro Tools for the record, like um but when you used to bounce out a song, there's no offline version. So you had to they had to play the whole song from yes. top to bottom in real time. Yes. So if it's a ten minute long thing, you've got to wait ten minutes for it to to essentially mix down, okay. you know? Um, nightmare where logic you have an offline bounce which basically it, it, it goes a lot quicker it bounces like a three minute thing in like 30 seconds or whatever oh, wow. the case is depending okay. on your computer you know uh -huh. um, it can be faster or slower but yeah I mean there's, there's often those those sort of workflow improvements um, I was more thinking along the lines of things like um, I think something like green screen technology those sort of things have become a lot more accessible to people okay do you um, mean like effects and stuff yeah and like like visual effects and I think there's uh, a lot of those sort of things that yes, that that's, yeah. that where the technology has made often what technology does is it makes um sort of very high thanks what what uh, thanks, would, what would be yeah thank you so much yo, so yo, nice. you guys Fresh, talking cheers, tech guys. yeah so so I'm just <laughs> I'm trying to nice yeah it's a bit of nice well, um, I'm trying to just sort of chat a bit Heineken about. Heineken zeros so. are great, man. Sorry. Really? Yeah, they really that are. That tastes like the real thing. Dude, when I was in London, yeah. now, my brother was having a bra for his 40th with a whole bunch of South Africans. I literally felt like I was in South Africa. But I went to the shops and I bought myself Heineken. And I thought more South Africa got Heineken beer. I arrived home and my brother looks at me. He's like, why are you drinking non-alcoholic? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and my brother, who drinks uh, actual beer drinker. alcohol, was like, no, I actually drink non-alcoholic during the week because I enjoy the taste. Oh, really? Yeah, it tastes very lucky. Yeah, nice. when he goes to work and stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, man. Work. What were you guys talking about? No, I so, so you a, good, a good example <laughs> would be, so for the longest time, for example, if you wanted a certain compressor sound, you had to have the actual compressor. Where now with technology, it's made those tools available digitally. Mm -hmm. So now mm -hmm. more people, you can have be in your bedroom and have an 1176 compressor yeah. at your disposal, you yes. know, and it sounds very close to the real thing, if not indiscernible, you know? Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I would just, just it, has there been the same sort of things for you in video that's been so, such great technological advancements where you go, there's these things that used to not be to, that I didn't used to have access to that now all of a sudden, just because of a technology thing, now I've got these great tools. Hmm. Um, oh, it's kind of hard to explain to you. I can tell you where my works really took off in terms of quality. Yeah. So I edited an Adobe Premiere Pro. Have you heard of that program? Yeah, I, I've used Adobe Premiere yeah, quite a bit. Yeah. So a lot of people, most people, will color grade. They will color their footage inside Insta of Premiere. Yeah. Because it's got the yeah. Metri tab. Yeah. They, yeah. My, my <clears throat> the quality of my work really took off when I decided to export from Premiere Pro into a grading suite. Something what are you using? DaVinci? DaVinci Resolve. Oh, beautiful. I did the same thing. But yeah. I spent a lot of time and effort and making mistakes and whatever, teaching myself. Sure. But then what I did was I bought a couple courses as well. And each course taught me something a little bit different, how sure. I can do certain things differently. And I've come up with my own workflow. And it's like, it's fail safe, mate. Yeah. So you give me, you give me log footage, yeah. I'm, I'm make it pretty. Sure. Like, Easily, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like with you know, yeah, with yourself. yeah. But you know, a lot of guys have said, oh, please, you know, what's what LUT do you have? A uh, LUT is, is also known as lookup table. So yeah. essentially, okay, it's like, a, it's, it's like a fancy Instagram filter, kind of. But you see, that's the impression you get from watching yeah. Facebook and Instagram videos is that they go buy our LUT packs yeah. and make your images and video look that's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They are lying to you. Yeah. Because LUT table, uh, lookup tables are, are they they just LUTs. Yes. They, okay. they, they are not going to make your footage look amazing. No. Like that. It's not an Instagram filter. No. Mm -hmm. You have to work within that LUT to get the best out of the LUT. Yes. Okay. And if you don't understand. Because it's input levels, output levels. Yeah. It's sort of like, it's the same as, you know, like these these compressor plugins. Um, 
like they made to 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 work optimally at a certain gain structure. So if yes. your if your input's too hot or whatever, then the plugin doesn't yes. work the way it does. Uh-huh. Same, so, so it's the same with these LUTs. So basically, same, same thing. It's oh, the I same thing. You. So so you've okay. got a you've got an exposure on your image, and if your exposure going into the LUT's not right or whatever, then the or whole thing cuts out. Or, like, yeah, color time. There's all sorts of variables. Let me give you going. another example. You buy a LUT. Let's say it's on Facebook. They mm-hmm. like buy this LUT. It's fifty bucks dollars. Uh, make this uh, and it's a picture of a ship at sunset and it just looks go- it's so cinematic yeah. so you buy the slut you're like oh it's gonna make my shit look dope <laughs> so you buy the slut but you don't put it on you the remember, same quality image that they put it on they took it at sunset that picture yes you putting it on midday footage guess what it's not gonna look it the same look the same yeah you're gonna put it on a shot that you shot inside your home and you think it's gonna look it's gonna look cuck. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. That's what people don't, yeah, don't yeah. understand. Absolutely, yeah. we, we call them. I, I mean, you've you've obviously got presets in your realm, but on these uh, workstations, Logic, Pro Tools, Ableton, you open up a, a plugin yeah. and <laughs> you can choose a preset, and, and you can choose like the. Whatever, I'll be a stupid example. Jack like King Snares preset. Yes, which is say Kings of Leon. It's mm-hmm. a, a he mixed Kings of Leon's album, and so many people would put this plugin on, select that preset, and, and go, expect to hear that sound. But the source sound is so different. You, there we go. That's exactly yes, the same thing. That's, that's exactly a, yes, what that's, I mean. Yes, yeah. it's the same thing. Yeah, the source exactly sounds completely same. different. Yeah. And then the people go, "Ah, oh, but this is a shit plugin, eh?" Yeah. And you're going, "No." You need to like, you got to think twice, bro. Dude, and I must, and learn. I, I must say with regards to LUTs, yeah. for color grading, yeah. oh, I want the cinematic look. I get a lot of people on Instagram I'm going, what LUT did you yeah. use? And I go, I, don't. I didn't use a LUT. I, uh, ma- I made, made it. it. For sure. I made it. Yeah, but can I buy that LUT? But it's not going to work on your stuff. I don't know. What's yeah. a, I can give it to you and you could get lucky and it could actually look pretty decent. Yeah, yeah, you but you're going to get lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's but, a, it's it's, not, but also, if it's, you, not a, it's not a reliable workflow that's going to sure. get you to the same However, result. However, if you understand lots, yes, you can yeah, work of with course, it of in, course. in any scenario. Of course, sure. yeah. Um, but yeah. That's very but, cool. But, man. but I think what you're saying is important is, is that what you've managed to do is make, you've, you've made a, a very repeatable, consistent workflow that's. That you know, if I do this, this is what I get from it. Yes, yeah, and I know yeah. what I really and like. And consistency is I know key. It works. It, for me, consistency, repeatability, mm. is everything. It's like you can make one hit song, yes, and it's not going to do anything for you. Mm-hmm. If you can make twenty, mm-hmm. now you're talking. You know, mm-hmm. it's like it's like that consistency is so incredibly important. Yep. And yep. and it's, I, it's what makes you, you. Yeah, ex- well, that's also, yeah, also sometimes people, I, I think your vibe, the only reason why I get a feel for who you are as a videographer mm-hmm. and what your vibe is, is because you've made hundreds of videos. So there's a body of work to look at and go, oh, this is this guy's vibe, you know? Um, I've got if, a, if that makes sense. It makes complete, yeah. Yeah, complete sense. I've got an interesting question for you. Um, for you guys now. Um, in terms of clients, how many clients have you? Uh, <clears throat> so I'm sure you've got a lot of lovely clients, but how many times have you gotten to work with a client where you're just like, "This is an absolute ball ache." I've I've had we've had f- physical threats. Yeah, well, we, we we've had. You want to hear about physical threats? <laughs> we've had physical physical threats, and yeah. um, we've had whole, horrible experiences, man. Physical threats. Yeah, dude. I would say that they it's definitely in the minority. Most of the people we get oh, to yeah. work with are absolutely no, no, no. lovely, we work and just, with lovely just a pleasure. But there's we, there's been some ugly ducklings for sure. You know, every now and again, something happens. Someone comes out of the woodwork, and they don't particularly like. Something, whatever it may be. Yeah. There's so many sort of I'm little... I'm going to give you a story. Sure. It's a video I shot just before I went to London. This guy... Okay, so we have this location from 10 o'clock in the morning. It's a mansion <coughs> shoot. From 10 o'clock in the morning till 5 o'clock in the afternoon. The client is well aware of that. His budget has only... Uh, accompanied uh, well or allowed it's for only allowed us sorry mm-hmm. is the better word uh, to shoot from 10 to 5 sure okay we are on set at 9 o'clock in the morning I've got a steady cam operator focus puller a stylist makeup artist I've got uh, five models I've got a, a vehicle I've got a mansion I've got everything 10 o'clock artist is not there mm. 11 o'clock he's not there yeah, so 12 o'clock he's not there so two hours gone 1 o'clock it's not there Half past one, he arrives. Okay. Do you know why he's late? He's late because he had to go 
clothes shopping. Mm. He had to go and buy his clothes. He's paid me already, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. He's booked so your time. I'm We've like, got a, I've, I've got a very, very, very similar, similar story. Similar story, so, listen, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. And also, I don't take cuck, eh? I, I, sure. I love working with people and stuff, but I'm there to work. Yeah. I'm not there yeah. to drink alcohol or yeah. smoke weed or be stupid. I'm there to work and, yeah. and give you the best products I can possibly do. I know you guys yeah. are on exactly the yes. same page as yeah. me. Yeah. 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 So I, I, I will, I, I'll never be uh, rude, but I will be stern just so that you can know that you're serious. Yep. That I'm serious. And, and someone's got to drive that ship. I, and you are driving the ship, bring, unfortunately. That is my job. Because you have so to finish that product. If you are there on there. time and stuff, we're going to be smiling and laughing the <coughs> whole day. Great time, yeah. Yeah. You come three and a half hours late and you're and, stoned. Yeah, and no, your eyes aren't even open when you're performing. I'm going to be stern with you. Yeah, and when yeah. I ask you to do a certain sequence over and over again, and I have to get different angles and different camera movements to make it more engaging, and you're not listening to me and you're messing up the simplest of moves because mm. you are high, like opening up yeah. the car door. And when you open yeah. up the car door and you stand out, I want you to look to your left and then to your right. Right. There's a reason why I'm asking you to do that because I want you to get you it's gonna looking look to the left, way. and then yeah. as you turn yeah. to the right, I catch you from the other side. I'm thinking like that. You must just listen to my instructions. I'm mm -hmm. the director. You know what you're gonna do with it. And sure. You now have given me how you've given me no time to shoot your music video, so I'm going to be stern. Yeah, Anyways, yeah. the next morning, this guy sends me this. You're the worst. Wow. Uh, you're the worst. <laughs> don't, don't think you smooth or slick, dumb ass. I don't care who you shot video with. I just tolerated you. I'm not going to pay you your balance. So you paid me a deposit. Till you show me the video. If I like it, I'll pay the balance. Because I had to explain to him, Sir, Goodness you have come me. very late now, so I have to cut scenes. Sounds familiar, eh? Okay. No, I'm just this being is all up. too familiar. This sounds so familiar. If not, you can keep it. Then I said, and I just remained professional, eh? I said, no problem, sir. I will keep your video then. Um, uh, because then, um, I, then, uh, then I said, uh, listen here, you must pay your balance and I'll edit your video. I'm not even going to touch it until you pay. Anyways, you got very clever with me. I think you'll find this interesting. Um, no one cares who you are. Okay. This <laughs> is a guy who's got like 300 followers. Uh, and I just go, I will do, sir. He goes, so uh, he yeah. goes, I do music for fun. We'll release when I feel like. You dumb ass. And then oh. I said, you are incredibly rude. This is my response. He then goes, uh, uh, I should have punched you in your mouth, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then I just went, wow. Just remember, I'm just giving one word here. <laughs> you must be high off your cigarettes. Me. Sure. Oh, okay? goodness, off your cigarettes. Nogals. Or your kidney <laughs> so effed up. He actually swore there. You can't say the right thing. I said, okay, I refuse to stoop to your level. Uh, you ain't even shit, he says to me. Then I, then this is my last thing before I blocked him because I was like, okay, this is... No, this is enough. It was yeah. at nine o'clock in the morning. I'm lying in bed. My little girl's in the middle between my oh, wife no. and I. You guys are talking like, about where you're going for brunch. This is just ridiculous. Then yeah. like, I go, you are the most unprofessional <laughs> client I've ever come across. Keep well. And I hope your attitude takes you very far. If you have any further queries, please contact my producer at, as previously mentioned, I'm not going to be editing your music video so you can decide whether to pay for it or not. Once you have paid your balance, I will begin with editing. I've exported this chat and forwarded it to my solicitor for our records. <laughs> <laughs> kind of gods. But you yeah. know what I mean? When someone physically threatens yeah, you. No. Yeah, and and no. here's a person who went clothes shopping on a shoot day, comes three and a half hours nah, late. That's bullshit, he can barely dude. open his eyes. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like, you are taking not only me, but my team who are here. They Everyone's here good to on go. Time. Yeah. yeah. And the team I work with are all people I it's really appreciate. And yeah. um, in, like, you are only as good as your team. Mm -hmm. um, um, and even in my last YouTube video, I was talking about how you must respect your team because yeah. they are putting together the visuals with you. They are the same as you. No yeah. one is better than the anyone. collaboration, man. That's yeah, what but makes it's so important. So happen. when you disrespect not only me but my team, yo. Well, well you know, we in the studio world. 
Yeah. I, we, we had a recent experience with a guy. I won't mention any names, but... No, um, don't do that. <laughs> it, 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 got, it got loud and it got rowdy and in what have studio, you. In the studio, in the studio. Yeah, but it, this is the same, same thing. Guy, same sort of thing. So, so, so he had a DVD thing that he shot and at his dress rehearsal, which was filmed for like B-roll footage for, for the, the main night, yeah. he rocked up in a different outfit than what he was going to wear on the actual night. Half the BV's not there, like... Oh my goodness. And the dress rehearsal is essentially being filmed for cutaways and... Anyway, um, so, <laughs> so, so, X books the studio from, say, 10 a.m. to, you know, Studio World often works in, in sessions 10 to 1, lunch break 2 to 5, sure. or straight sure, sure, through, sure, sure, depending sure. on the project. Yes. He booked the what studio. What genre of music? Uh, this would be in the gospel realms. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. even. Hmm. Very anyway. interesting. And, yeah. um, are you trying to connect some dots here, bro? Well, I'm, <laughs> trying to, I'm trying to. I'm actually so, um, shooting a gospel on Monday in Cape Town. And um, and what actually happened was, book the studio. Obviously, we run. The, if you book the studio, the floor is being paid for. It's not our responsibility to get your band here, your musos here, you know. Yeah, yeah. And they didn't rock up, and the dude's hanging, and he's hanging, and the clock's ticking. And Ricky was engineering the thing and Ricky was like, dude, the clock's ticking. Anyway, when it came down to tally up all the time that had been used on the session and the gig and everything, um, we obviously include that time because yeah, it is yeah. studio floor time that was booked and confirmed and the team was, yeah, ready to go, waiting to go, going, what, what the fuck's going on? Mm -hmm. And this person X wouldn't, he just point blank refused to play, pay for that, that floor time. And we're going, yo, dude, but the reality of the situation is if you don't book the time, someone else comes in. Yeah, you sure. know, projects Absolutely. are. Absolutely. But, but there, there is yeah. a culture in South Africa of studios standing empty. And we're just not one of those studios. Yeah, we're not no. one of them. We, we actually a very busy studio and... Do you think this guy was all about ego? Do you think the ego had the best of him? Completely. Yeah, 100%. There so, was a certain thing there that... because can't handle it, huh? I, I believe that the person would not have been able to accept the fact that it was actually their missed time management. Yeah. Their yeah. time mismanagement. Yeah, there was definitely a lack of responsibility. Yeah. yeah. And well, professionalism. Kind of, yeah, yeah. I think there's a misconception of what, what professionalism is within mm. music. Yeah. Like, uh, like with any other creative fields, even what you do, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. like artists. I'm yeah. talking about yeah. yeah. I think they they see stuff on TV and they think, ah, okay, yeah, you must be a certain. Oh, way. I see what you're saying. Yes, like, rubbish, sure. dude. I'll yeah. go watch some behind the scenes. I, yeah. I remember seeing Asher going to his one music video, him by himself with his manager, walking in, just waiting for his thing. No alcohol, no weed, whatever, and the music video looks amazing. Yeah, mm. you know what I mean. Completely. And dude. also, bro, one thing, it. You know what? I, I make awesome music videos, but I also make average ones, and the av what I would consider average. And the average ones are typically with with artists who have the most incredible egos. Yeah, that I cannot communicate with them. You can't yeah. and get I, them to translate And I'm trying to, to put myself audience. in your shoes mm. as well. I think it's the same thing. It you're is no, to, absolutely. Yeah. you're trying to record an artist, and, and their ego is so big they won't listen to you. Yeah. Often we make the best stuff on the smallest budget purely just because of the drive and the will and the yeah, one to be Yeah, I love that. And dude, I've yeah. actually um, uh, it's happened a couple times now. Uh, this one guy in particular, uh, and I'm going to name his name because it's what I'm going to say is very nice about him. His name is, <laughs> is Zuchi Coke. Dope. Um, That's and, a dope and, name. and he's a really cool <laughs> producer. And I remember Very the cool first name. time I, I filmed him, he was just a feature on the music video. Okay. Um, and he has some words that he sings or whatever on, on the track, but he also produced the track. Right. And I went to him and I said to him, Listen here, you've got a you've you're a good person. I can tell you you've 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 got your head screwed on properly. Please maintain who you are. Yeah. And you are going to do really well. Yeah. And he's doing very well. Yeah. He's doing very well. And the last time I filmed him, same guy. Respectful. Mm. And he because he's giving me the respect, I respect him back. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a collaboration. And, oh, man. I love You're that. Feeding off energy. When so. that happens to me, mm. I'm like, something amazing has happened here. Yeah. You know, there's yeah. just a connection. Completely, I love that. dude. It's energy, man. It's it's mm. it's the creativities and especially in a co collaborative environment, it's one of those things where you're bouncing and it's bouncing around all the time. Mm. And you're catching, catching, catching things and putting them together and making this beautiful making thing. Making it the best it can be. Yeah. But sometimes your idea. Mm. Will, won't get, get caught. 
but mm. someone else's idea got caught. Mm -hmm. And that's the most beautiful thing because you may have been set, especially in the music production realm, if there's a collaborative production thing going mm -hmm. on in music, I might come up with a keys part and then Rick comes up with a keys part. But now I'm so set and stuck in this keys, this keyboard melody that I've just come up with. It's already embedded itself. Then Rick comes with this other thing that's just ridiculously beautiful and just like, oh, wow. My head was not there. And that's the beauty of collaboration. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, we have, we have a lot of that. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes it's tough. I mean, with, we were talking on the weekend, we had a good old South African bra, mm -hmm. and in the middle of winter, turns out it's quite it's difficult to win winter, man. Yo, <laughs> cold. Dude, I was, uh, just with the collaborative process, like, uh, I love listening to new ideas and advice, especially from people who actually have, have a clue. You know what sure. I mean? Then I mm -hmm. listen. I, I, I love to listen to what people have to say. Um, especially my wife, I, I really like it because uh, she, she's so objective. Yeah. You know what I mean? She doesn't yeah. care that I've made it. She wants me to be the best I can be. So she gives me a... Com she, and she only ever comes to watch it when it's finished. Oh, as okay. well, and then I make changes according to... Before I send it to clients. Always. It's, okay. my, it's my workflow. It's your right? internal check. Yeah. Just make sure. It's the best. Quality control. So what you guys have got going on here, just like me with my wife and yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. and yeah. whoever else who has a clue, has something to say, it's so cool that we, we must open our ears. Absolutely. And also, what yeah. I said to you uh, earlier on is I was like, uh, it was hard for me to take criticism in the beginning. But I mean, I think that's a part of learning as well. It is, yeah, absolutely. You, Completely. And, and so growing it, up and becoming wanna, that expert. Exactly. In yeah. whatever field you're in, if you're mm. one of those people that are hard at taking criticism, get over it. Yes, drop it, man. Listening. I was one of those people, man. And... <laughs> It took a long time. I remember playing in bands in high school and like wanting to produce <laughs> these dudes and being like, all right, let me show you what to play on the guitar. And the band, I always just wanted like, wow, these guys, you know, bands yeah. don't last long. Yep. You know? But then yeah. I grew up and I entered the real world and realized that everybody has a voice of some sort. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. But what I was saying earlier is that we had this chat on the weekend around the bride, very short, and we were saying that in the process of making something beautiful a lot of the times or something great a lot of the times that process is quite tense yeah mm -hmm. because there's such a hunger for the perfection but it's not one person alone on the in in this scenario now maybe an album or a, there's three guys or four guys involved yes. from a production creativity side of things and that the room can get tense because everybody's just like oh we just need that snare to be no no not there yet not there yet. and then every now and again you get this moment of like oh, that sounds beautiful. And everyone goes, wow, look what we've made. And it's exciting. Yeah. What we've made. Look what yeah. we've made. You know, and that's yeah. the most beautiful thing. And yeah. all of a sudden, th everything in life is hard. Nothing is a walk in the park. Guys, look at these YouTube videos of rappers in studios and they all just like cooking it up and they hang in, they kick in and it's like, it's all it's just chilled. Yeah. No, 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 no. There's a guy sitting there or two or three or four guys sitting there that are not on the couches at the back and they're making things happen, you know? And mm -hmm. they are working tirelessly to finish this thing. Mm -hmm. The perception of pop culture is that it's very kicked back and chilled. Yeah, and, yeah. But it's actually really not. It's fast. It's, it's competitive it's and it's, it's hungry, yeah. you know? I'd much rather own a tiny piece of something great than own a whole piece of shit. You yeah. can't try it. You I quite believe right, so, I, it's, I, I don't know. I wanted to say, you said something about perception here. Um, about, you know, people don't see the guys in the back putting in all the graft or whatever. Yeah. Mm. And, uh, yeah, I just like, what I wanted to say was, you know, like music video awards and stuff. Yeah, I actually wanted to chat you about that. Yeah, like, that's a good, yeah. Like, uh, award well, shows in general for me. Why don't we get up on the... stage? <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, I, I've actually wanted to ask you what your experience is with it's that. It's cool and... to get acknowledged, guys. It is. It is cool to get a bit of acknowledgement. And, especially, and you should be the guy to get up there. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, at the song. With the artist. Or with the well. artist, yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. But I'm at the song. Only. No, 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 yeah. sure. But at the song, mm. when, they, when they do. Music video of the year, whatever the, the case is. Artists. It's, uh, it's more the artists that get the credit. But in a scenario where, I mean, if you're saying that a lot of the work you're doing, the artist isn't really involved, and, and some of your work that you're the most proud of and that you think is the best work is when you've just made the thing the way you wanted to make it. Mm -hmm. Surely, mm -hmm. yeah, there should be there should be recognition for but that. There, there isn't. It's like, um, what about like the what are the video? No, but the thing is, it's. No, I hear what you're saying, man. Look, it it's, is a shared thing because without the artists and the music, you wouldn't have had to make anything to make yeah, the video. Of course, sure, of but 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 I, at the same time, it's like this idea of the artist getting up saying thank you for my great music video. 
It's like it's not do. your work. Mm. The, the thing you you're not getting you're not yeah. getting song of the year. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're getting music video of the year. Who this made is, the music video? This is someone else's work. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, man. That's, They've got a producer of the year category. Yes, you know the guy who 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 put that package together. Mm. You put that visual package together, and there should definitely yeah, yeah, be absolutely. a thing yeah. for that. But mm. now, how does it work yeah. at like the what is it? Is there a video category at the at the Grammys? Yeah. yeah, there is, and and how does that work? No, I think it's the artist. It's the that artist that goes up. Same thing. And yeah. in South Africa, the South African Music Awards, because mm. you've you've cleaned up there before, and I, I've gotten I've gone to nominations. I haven't won yet, bro. I haven't won anything. Yet. I've got a shit ton ton of nominations. As you know well what? That's such a bullshit. Awards. This whole but award listen, thing is such listen, a weird. Can I tell you something? No, it's no, a load no. Of cuck, my I don't boy. have the little <laughs> thing. I don't have the dude. Let's yet, dude. be real. Listen, guys, I'm leaving the country, so it doesn't really matter what I say. Actually, Brit Awards um, up next. But let's be for real. Yeah, no, like, but I know that. Like I, I looked at. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, yeah, I look at the, some of the nominations like of this year, and I'm like. Really? Uh, bro, seriously? Really? For real? How much, I can be, I, you know how what it much is. you pay? We all know what it is. We all know what it Come is. Come on. Yeah. The guys are anyway, doing I'm it for the Anyway, I'm not taking anyone from anything. <laughs> Anyways. Hey, man, listen. It's going on. Yeah. I just wish no, it was all fair it. and it was just like people voted and it was a legit yeah. thing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I don't, know if, I don't feel like it's that legit, to be real. Because <laughs> if I look at, like, uh, nah. Nah, you shouldn't have been. The, the voting system has to be. Uh, listen, yeah, it's, uh, well, I mean, but uh, you know what? Award shows for me, in general, I question the voting system. I think all in of them, general, around the world. All of them. Hey, no, it's not any, I, uh, I don't foresee how. Where do you vote? Where does the public vote? Where do you vote for a South African music award or for online. a Grammy? I think it's yeah, online. it's like an online thing or like mm-hmm. a. Yeah. For real, where? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You think it's like an online thing? I mean, it's the fucking Grammys. Surely we should know where this thing is. SMS vote. I'm gonna. Ah, oh, should please someone. If someone hears this and you know how the process works with award shows in general, please send me some knowledge. The Big Drop Show Get in even touch better, and send us some knowledge, please, even, man. Even better than people voting, they should have a panel of people who actually know what they're talking about voting live. Like they do with oh, boxing. Live. Like they do yeah. with boxing. Okay. Like they do with boxing. Yeah, that seems legit. You know how they cool, uh, yeah. we down to decision now? Okay, cool. How many rounds you give them? Uh, give them like uh, six rounds to uh, four or whatever it may be. Sure. And and this is the scorecard. Okay, and you judging on these criteria. That would be more legit to me than yeah. public votes. The thing for me that shows that it's broken is how many times um, have you seen an actor? What's the guy... Fuck. Oh, man. Leonardo. Yes. The yeah. camera. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's such a, oak, man. No, I mean, he's uh, such a great actor. He's amazing. amazing. Yeah. And then we, he only won his first thing now. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a dumb There's what? a couple of those, eh? No, what? it's rubbish, man. Like, it's rubbish. I mean, yeah. it's ridiculous. It's complete. So it's like, I, I was on um, one of these, I worked on one of these sort of talent shows. I don't know if I should say which one. Whatever, people could probably go search and they'll find it. But anyways, and it's the biggest load of bullshit. Like seeing how that stuff works behind the scenes. I'm like, this is not about who's really? the most talented. Really? This specific one, by the time they got to like the whatever's supposed to be the top 10, all the good ones were out. Mm-mm. Like when we were doing like the first Rick, like top 100, Rick, yeah. the ones that I were like, these <laughs> ones are the obvious oh, ones that are, that are actually talented. By the or top 30, then you go, okay, they're still there. These are the ones. This one can win. This one no, can win. This brief. one can win. Uh-uh. By the time you get to the top 10, there was a guy that sang his audition. Yeah. Fuck. It was like a semitone out. He was something. a semitone out. Yeah. He was like told me so this story. off. Right? Did a semitone. They now, listen, they, listen, they tuned now, in. You, so they, sorry, Rix. Do you, do you, do you know, know what, what a semitone means? is? I know what being off You know Jaws. So you know, you know like, Jaws. This is worse than off. Da, da. Now, yeah. if you had to sing those two notes at the same time, uh-huh. <laughs> it sounds terrible. That's how off he was. Were yeah, they producing him in the mix? For yeah, yeah, they were tuning him. So they tuned him for the, because it wasn't live at that stage. So they tuned him for the thing. Then he went, sounded great. It's badly off. Whatever the case is. Then he, he came second in the competition. <gasps> But then he must go do corporates now. <laughs> yeah, but I'll backtrack. Because then I'll he, backtrack. Because guess what? He's going to sound cuck. Talking no, but it's, it's, yeah, it's broken. It's all oh, broken. I'll okay, backtrack, whatever. boys. Dude, talking, it's the best way I'll to make money. Dude, um, 
uh, one of my mates, John Boucher, talking about backtracks quickly, and then I want to get to Sound and Cuck. It's not the same thing there. John Boucher. <laughs> so John similar. Boucher is, is, is my mate. Uh, yeah. I filmed his, his uh, Geboren om met jou te wees. My first Afrikaans music wow, that's beautiful music Afrikaans video, there, man. We, we're still great friends to this day. I'm going to see I wrote my first Afrikaans on. song with Ricky, actually, yeah. about what three weeks it? ago. First, first time ever. I've never attempted it. And how did it, it come out? Good? Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Oh. I think it's very simple when it comes to Afrikaans I language. Like but I really enjoy doing Afrikaans music videos because it's a change up. But I love my hip hop and my quite so in my house stuff. I love that stuff. But yeah. just to do something different is always sure, lacquer. Sure. Yeah. It's like I'm doing gospel on Monday yeah, next yeah. week. I'm excited about it because the song is actually it's fresh. I'm yeah. not a super. Re- I'm not religious, but it, it's just a passionate song and it's passionate for them. So yeah. it's passionate for, sure. for me. Yeah, there's it, a there's a feeling. There's yeah, a, yeah, there's a vibe. Sure. Yeah. And the the clients awesome as well. But um, what did I want? Jean Boucher, you did yeah, his Jean, video. Jean, um, talking about backtrack. So. Uh, I think it's quite a thing in the Afrikaans community. Quite a, a lot of the time to sing yeah. with backtracks. It is, yes, he, yeah. He, he's done very, very well for himself. Like incredible album sales and stuff. And now for this new album, he, um, I was there for his first li- like proper live performance with a band. He said, Carl, I'm not doing backtrack stuff anymore. Bringing a I'm band doing, on. I'm doing it live. Listen, now. man, I'm, I'm a man for people. a band day. Eh? Yeah. I'm sorry. Look, I don't want to offend anyone by saying backtracks because I understand pop culture. Yeah, yeah. And we've and people enjoy it, eh? And people, people dig they, it, dude. Because I look at the, the layman doesn't give a shit what the, no. whether it's a band or a track if they got some visual stuff or whatever. It's cool. I just I'm a bit old school in that sense. It also just ties yeah. into like throwing yourself in the deep end. He threw himself in the deep end. I remember yeah. before the show, like I went there to go watch a show in, in also in Cape Town, and and we were just having a drink like three hours before the performance. Like he had just had a like was about to have a like a, another rehearsal, and I could see he was cucking himself. Yeah, and I was nervous. Like, yeah, boy, here, I've heard you by the fire. Yeah, like, you're good, man. You just do it. You man. don't need to let do it out, that everyone. Not everyone, but. You don't need to do what the majority of people... You can do it, boy. Yeah, and yeah. he had this rehearsal. And I remember during the, the rehearsal, I got these goosebumps. Yeah. And while he was singing, bro, I walked up to him on the stage and I showed it to him. I said, see. Because yeah. he knows if I get goosebumps, I, like, I'm feeling it. Support, yeah. dude. And, and yeah. bro, I just I saw him. I'm not saying I was the be- like the oak that helped him come out of the show. <laughs> he always had it. The guru. He knew, he the knows, man behind he the knows myth. I don't talk yeah. Like... Yeah. If I'm gonna say, I mean it. Like if you yeah. ask my, I'm tell you yeah. the truth for sure. Like, sure. And and I just saw him fucking, and I was just so proud of the boy, man. Yeah, that's great. And then yeah, dude, getting that's to cool, people man. who actually sound cuck, <laughs> not, <laughs> not like John because he's yeah. great. Yeah. Um, but I have shot music videos for people who have absolutely no talent yeah. whatsoever, and the thing is, because I run a business. I'm making money and you know it's a business. There's and a balance gonna, between passion things and just making the hard. making the dollar for it's the It's very hard because you still want to give them a quality product sure. even if you you don't love the song or whatever. Sure. Yeah. Um you, 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 that's your duty. You must give quality product you know yeah. even if the artist comes really late you're going to Yeah, try we have the same situations. Yeah. yeah. So um I just wanted to ask you guys uh, do you have any like, All the time. like just give me a good good story, please? Of like someone who can't sing. Like, what do you do? Because you have to you pay them playback. First of all, concentrate extremely hard. <coughs> of not just bursting out laughing. Like Ooh, sometimes because the thing is up. with singing, singing is like a when someone starts singing, it's very bad and it's bad. Ooh, yeah. It's almost comical. Listen, everybody you know? laughs about it. So, yeah. I, you know what? Everybody has a chuckle. If yeah. you put a, a video, there's a, a video that was circulating on, on, on Facebook of someone singing. It was something about like what audio engineers really oh, go through. Oh, yes. What yeah. sound engineers yeah. really go through. Yeah. And they bounce from the live room and you can hear the live voice and then you can hear the edited and it's just this thing. Everybody has a good laugh at some bad shit. Yeah. You know, and sometimes in studio, it can be explosively bad. Yeah. You know, and it, but when I say explosively, <sighs> now I mean… You still have to take on the work, guys. You, now, you know, now, this is the yeah. thing, dude. This is the thing. It's it's sometimes you don't have to, but you know. I mean, sometimes look, there there are situations that can be irreparable. You know, the 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 um in the in the in these contests in these contests they have yeah. like the wooden mark and all yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing Some you can do. Some people just there. don't have it, man. And unfortunately, call a spade a spade, and that's what it is. Some people just cannot sing, and that's it, Clark. That's it. And if it if they are gonna learn how to sing, you know, we 
it's, it's, it's probably going to take but a while. Think about I, this. For someone to come... Sorry, bro. No, no. Think about this. For someone to come into the studio, I'm going to record a track. Yeah. Who cannot sing. Yeah. But they've convinced themselves so yeah. much that they can sing. They're actually paying for your time. Yeah. They are coming in here yeah, yeah. to perform. To be honest, what do I they think... do when they hear playback? Yeah. I think what, what that's... do they do? No, no, no. Lots, lots. I mean, so, to be honest with you, so this is this I'll is my... pull the plug right there. This is no, I mean if we... I don't believe it's something that I can because I've got a big thing oh, about quality yeah. control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I believe I can't do anything get a with certain it. quality out of this out of this yeah. particular subject or person you or tell whatever. Them straight yeah. up. But no, but I won't be like ruthless and be like, you suck. I'll be like, listen, man, unfortunately... It, I'm going to feel this, bad taking your money. This sort is of not thing. something... You and see, I might suggest you, another option for them. No, no, I'm with you. We've and, done and, that before, actually, with a guy. We actually have, yes. Where we sent him somewhere else and said to him, look, to be honest with you, um, we feel like you've got some some potential, but this is what you need to work on. And if you go to the, this and this and this person, we often do this. If a singer is really not nailing it, um, we'll send them for vocal training. Um, and then they come back During better. the process. During the process, is, whatever. So we but do that But it's not that a often. vocal training for like a, it's not, it's by no means negative. No, no, no. Yeah. So it's all positive reinforcement. We had another guy that wrote these songs and he was sort of coolish and we, we sort of, and we were like, for what you're going to pay us, because we're not the cheapest studio in town by any means, you know? So we were like, for what you're going to pay us, you're not going to get your money's worth. Um, here's a guy that's cheaper where you can maybe go build some experience and once you get better, because even rec like you get, even some good musicians are bad in studio. Studio is a different thing. It's, it's, it's a not, whole different beast. It's not the same. You get a drummer that's incredible live and you put him in studio with a click and he plays like shit, you know? Uh. So it's, it's a very different thing. So, so it's not even often that someone's even terrible. It's just that you go, hang on, you need, there's a step you're missing here. So it's like, it's often pointing people in the right direction to try and help them as well. Mm. Um, rather than just, like how he says, it'll never be like telling someone they suck or whatever, but it's, it's if, if I, there is a limit to what we can do as well. And if you know that this is not going to work, mm. then there's another option where you go, let's rather go there. Here's a cheaper studio where you can maybe go build up some experience and then come back to us or whatever the mm. case is. I think a good analogy or comparison, shall we say, to this is, You've got someone Sorry, who wants to. This do... guy keeps on calling, and I keep on saying, "I'll call you back. I'll call you back. I'll call you back." <laughs> sure. Let me just take the One call quickly. We can we no, can cut cool. it. I'm sorry, we're laughing, dude. I've had this before. <laughs> Bro, you gotta get ten million views <laughs> at least. We we gotta no, do this. We gotta do this. We we'll, we'll 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 come back in the conversation. Yeah, we've we've cut out a bit. Yeah. What so what happened is Kyle just got a call. We we had to cut it out just because we can't say who this you thing can't is. Disclose. But this guy, it it, it is it is four twenty, <laughs> Thursday Tuesday. It's Don't give the date. 20, twenty past four, <laughs> and um, he just got a call saying that the client wants a graded, fully graded music video by seven. They want to premiere at seven p.m. It tonight. Takes an entire day to color grade. Minimum, video. yeah, sure. An entire day. But I yeah, think yeah, the, yeah. I think oh, the yeah. thing that's also adding to this is that this isn't. You're not just grading, uh, you know, a little high school musical. This no, is this something is that something that's quite massive. Really, we'll have millions and millions. Yes. Of, yeah. Like, yeah. So, yeah. When so, I say millions and millions, I don't mean a million. I mean no, no, millions yeah. and millions. Literal millions. Millions and millions, millions. Yeah. Yeah. Millions, yeah. Yeah. millions. Yeah. So, yeah. so now the problem is, is that 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 <laughs> I must, I must hats off to you because it's like I mean, if if that's did the I way handle, you, did I handle no, the conversation if, if, if that's, if that's that the way you good, con that was a perfect example of professionalism. Yeah, absolutely. But but to be honest, he's very He's very polite, and no, he was polite. Yeah, he's he's just ridiculous. Well, it's not actually him. Man. No, well, that, he, well, this is the problem. Yeah, he, he, yeah, yeah, and yeah. he He's ever admitted like, that to me. Point. Yeah, essentially, is the messenger. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's yeah, whatever. I don't want to get into too much detail because no, sure, uh, but but well, listen, listen. listen we were talking about <laughs> this is so great because we were talking been, about all the craziness I've been and then it happens since, since yeah. this morning. For yeah. um, uh, even last night, I was yeah. willing to grade till the morning. I had no idea they had some sort of premiere this evening. Gee, yeah. crazy man. Anyway, so that, that, this happens, and then people don't understand uh, the type of work that goes into it. Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, yeah. We need a greater version in the next two hours. Uh, first of all, I'm not home. Second of all, <laughs> it doesn't take me one hour. If I send you, if you, if I send you something in two hours, you're gonna never mate, hire me again. Because and at least you're. It's like me going, okay, cool. Here's my rough uh, track. Please master it. Yes. You got half an hour. Yeah, go. And go. Go. <laughs> yeah. But listen, man, well, it's like a 10 you've second. Got, you got some important shit to do. I'm just going to. To be honest with you, the most important stuff for me to do right now is to have a wee. 
All right. Uh, <laughs> but that's I think we should wrap this. We've killed it, man. We yeah, have absolutely. Been great. We've done. It's been great. I don't know how long we've done, but it's been cool. And Carl, where can people find you, dude? Um, my Instagram handle is probably the best way to find me. It's at Kyle Watt TV. Uh, just straight one word. And uh, yeah. In your YouTube channel, of course. Yeah. And then YouTube yeah. channel is youtube.com forward slash Kyle Watt TV. Cool. Um, Website, kylewatt.tv. That's it. So it's all Kylewatt TV. Yes. Folks, go and click, like, subscribe, comment, shout, yeah. share. Yeah. Do it all, man. It's been a pleasure, dude. It's yeah, been it's good been to amazing. catch up with you. I haven't seen you for years. No, um, legend, bro. And, uh, I'm watching your stuff and seeing all your videos. It's great. Thank you, man. And, yeah. and uh, what, a very cool experience for me. I really enjoyed it. Thank you, man. A uh, different you for experience for me. I got used to having the headphones on while I'm talking. Yeah. <laughs> so I appreciate that very much. And it was. Uh, I needed a break from a bit of work anyway. Sure. For sure. So come thank talk you some, so much. Come no. Talk some shit with the boys at the Hit Lab. Yeah, yeah. man. And so, just, just, just for people still listening, uh, please go on to Apple Podcasts and just like and leave a comment and, and or, or rate the show there. Uh, a five-star rating really helps us with, with getting um, up the charts there. So that's that's super helpful. Yo, we're taking selfies. Yo, yo. And, uh, Yeah, thanks for tuning in and thanks for staying with us. Folks, be real, be cool. Peace. Peace. I've been finding my way home. I've been finding my way home. Ha ha ha! Hey, I'ma be out, man.